so did anyone else notice this week that it got dark in the middle of the day? Yeah. Uh, I heard there was something happening, but I was too busy with my new handheld Android. Well, that was just the end of the world, Gar. <laughs> oh, the world ended? Where I was. Oh. Yeah, the why do you, why do you, why do you think there's a Fallout show now? <laughs> oh, well, I just I, I just presumed you know it got dark out of nowhere and then it became daylight again. So my first mind went to okay, who summoned Shenron? I thought I was just so deep in the playing with my new toy that arrived zone that I like my brain started processing at a different rate and I just like went through a day. <laughs> Did I live also, how does this week <laughs> felt like a month? You're so right. <laughs> this week felt like it took fucking forever. Shit, I just swore. Damn it, fuck, stop it. Ah, damn it. My favorite thing about the, the eclipse is the photos of people pointing their cameras up to the sky and showing a photo of a completely overcast sky. You're right. <laughs> Look at the eclipse. And they're, like, and they're like, this is the greatest moment of my entire life. I got some good photos, but now my phone is sunburnt. My phone no, like, went no, blind. No, 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 no joke. All my settings that were white are now like bright red. <laughs> Shit. How do I, I set, set the eclipse to dark mode? Eclipse. But on the plus side, my phone contract's already up. This bit has gone for too long. Cue the fucking roll call already. Connect loading. Broadcast. Perfect! Show running Super Savant! Level up! Bluecaster, Super Ichi! Loud and online! Greycaster, Robolane! Researcher of the Tokuverse! Yellowcaster, Ultra Guard! Trauma Inducer, Northcaster, Saga! Combining comedy and critique! Oh, yeah. On air since 2014! Radio Sentai Cast Ranger! Welcome to Radio Sentai Cast Ranger, episode 481. It's episode <laughs> Knuckles! I mean, that's for it. Oh, no. Knuckles? I mean, that's good timing. The Knuckles show's coming out this month. <laughs> I can't I wait for that. <laughs> I mentioned it last week, but the, the Lake Trio of Pokemon look like Sonic Tails and Knuckles. They do, like, have a uh, Sonic vibe yeah. to them. It's weird. Hey, no gifts. No gifts. No, no Toku gifts. I'm not taking gifts chances. Oh. Also, I'm yellow caster again? Yeah, we yeah. forgot to actually mention that on last week's show, but it was in the roll call. <laughs> <laughs> Hooray! And Cell's does, still north. Does that, does that mean I still make Dragon Ball references and leave the room? You can and you do lie that. on the floor. And, you and I lie on the floor. Okay, hang on, hang on. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> I can always change my name if we. Ah, uh, this is an audio it. podcast. You, we cannot see you, see you on the floor. <sighs> All right, can you hear me from the floor now? Yes, decently. Yeah, it's actually, actually not bad. Yeah. <laughs> you You'd probably be about, in bed and we'll still hear what, you. What if I held my microphone while staying on the floor? I mean, it's your choice. You can do that. <laughs> The floor is very hor. I almost said horrible. The floor is very hard. I'm gonna floor go back into my chair. <laughs> it is florable. The floor is horrible. The whore is florable. Gar what? What? Guard the floor is lava. Then in that case, let me cook. I'm the champion of the floor is lava. I let still touch the floor. Oh, okay. Since I was six. Wow. I want to see a bunch of parkour people play the floor is lava. <laughs> Like the floor people play the, 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 that's someone like the bit that just spilled out of my brain with no filter. No, no, the floor is lava, but it's like the entire city. <laughs> like, can't it's called the apocalypse. <laughs> yeah. yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> that's just the movie volcano. Uh, yeah. Anyway, anyways, welcome. A bunch of floors that get together. <laughs> we're a bunch of floorboards that get together to talk about tokusatsu and mm. some other crap. <laughs> We 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 literally come up with a we're a bunch of blank that get the other every week bit literally on the spot every week for ten years and that might have been that. the dumbest <laughs> one we've ever done. We're the floor. We are the we're floors the who get together every week. <laughs> really? 
Dash Ranger's next form, Floorcaster. <laughs> Why does Floorcaster sound familiar? Like, we've done that already. Yeah, it also sounds familiar. You, you know what? There's, Shit's there's cool, be, bro. You know what? Next year's April Fool's episode, it's got to be Guestcaster, Aircaster, and Floorcaster. <laughs> Here's a here's a here's a giant metal guru one. I just carry in a fucking actual air conditioning unit and plug it in right next to the mic. And then you just put with, a mic with on new, the floor. With new, with new guest caster, dishwash casher. Casher. is <laughs> my favorite. Dishwash catcher. What the fuck is that? <laughs> it's a cash register with a dishwasher. Do you want me to record oh, cash your money? Do you want this me to record Cash episode. Ranger like at work or something? I can I can do that. I can have my dishwasher running in the background. No problem. <laughs> I don't think you guys want that. It's very loud. I'd say we're off the rails, but were we ever on them? Well, I mean, we did do Tokyuger. Jerry, oh, damn it, oh, he's Jerry's right. Forecaster now. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Well, you're. You, you, we know what. We officially W you Floorcaster, Jerry. Wait, wait, well done. <laughs> quick, I don't know if that's an improvement or downgrade. You quick, can decide. Uh, I see it as an improvement. Quick note on my end on like a technical achievement for the sake of the show. <laughs> For years, we've published the video version of Cow Stranger in 720p simply because it was quicker to render than waiting hours for a 1080p to, to render. But I finally found a fucking setting in PowerDirector or in, oh, what, what was it? It's uh, Pinnacle? Pinnacle, yeah. PowerDirector is what I use for other videos. I finally found a fucking preset in, Power, in, in Pinnacle that will let me render the video in 1080p, 60 frames, and not Ooh. take a fucking hour to render. Sick yes. shit. So as of last week's episode, Cast Ranger videos are in 1080p, 60 frames. Did it for That's a show that been doing it for, a while. for a show with no moving animation aside from a couple of seconds with in an hour or two podcast. Cast Ranger is finally at 2018 quality. Yeah, Cliche. baby. <laughs> the past is now. I, the whole I can't wait show. for. I can't wait for SD uh, SD HD Cast Ranger. <laughs> Cast Ranger SD. Oh, we should we should make. Oh should God, make, we, we just look like the level one chibi. suits. Yeah, we should get little chibi versions of ourselves. I Why could we easily really have the plushies. I could easily just slap our helmets on the fucking level one suits from Exit. Oh, <laughs> fuck yeah, get that done. I don't want to see that. <laughs> Oh my god. Uh, anyways, we're fucking seven minutes in and haven't even said what we're talking about this week yet. No. Yeah, that sounds about right. Oh, I'm sure it's not. <laughs> it, can't, it must no, no, not be. shortest time. <laughs> you, you, you know what? Cast Ranger episode 500. My friends think they're funny in the movie. We don't, we don't talk about the episodes. It's just us babbling for like two hours. You and know what? I'm, I'm fucking bad. down. <laughs> I'm paper down. That's for the Patreon. That's like a post-apocalyptic thing. We've we've discussed everything. There's no topics left. We just shoot Follow, shit for two hours. Like Hollow now, now available on Amazon Prime. Yeah, like 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 ninety percent of the podcasts that are out there. Yes, actually, <laughs> this is what we do for you guys. Like trash taste. I just and... need to be. Like, I just need to be like Joe Rogan and just be like cheeseburger. Uh! <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh no! Yeah, Johnny. Uh, like John Tron should have a should have a writing credit for Cast Stranger. <laughs> I think we can open about that. And that's not even the first time you've said that. Oh yeah. Anyways, this week, despite appearances, we are talking about Comrade Gotchard episode thirty, Boom uh, Boomger episode six, woo! and our feature topic for this week of Metal April sixth is episodes one and twelve of Megas XLR, the 2004 animated Western animation series parodying Tokusatsu. Like, well, episode literally, 12, th th stick around. This, this cartoon is literally, like, if it was, it was Ichi in, like, another timeline or universe where he was just into cars. <laughs> this, is, this is, like, alternate universe me and Lane. <laughs> oh... <laughs> Don't compare oh, me no. to Jamie. <laughs> you know, I said alternate universe. <laughs> he did flashbacks way or flash forwards way too much. <laughs> or like daydreams to too say much. About Jamie. Yeah. This sure was a that show from 2004. Thank you, Gary. I am ten times better than Jamie. 
Anyways. For instance, your name isn't Jamie. Yeah. I'm going to start calling you Laney. <laughs> Laney. <laughs> I have a couple of people call me Laney at work. Oh, okay. Doesn't your girlfriend call you, like, Laney Draney? <laughs> oh, no, I'm I'm Lerm now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I no, it's one I'll of those things now. where, like, I love it. I love it. Yeah, no, I, I love that she, like, calls me that. So. <laughs> Anyways, Chicks all right. Don't dig giant robots. You can tell that's fiction. Yeah, this, uh, this no, is the male fantasy. Uh, listen, that's you're, you're both wrong. We can talk about that again. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> News. All right. I know what makes I know what make what makes people, men angry. <laughs> all right. News mode. News mode. Fucking sound board can eat my ass. News mode. <laughs> I, I just right. picture soundboard being like a green version of Soundwave, <laughs> and he's just like someone shot that green, like a green Soundwave, and he's just completely like non-emotional about everything because he's soundboard. <laughs> he's fucking <laughs> bored. Shut it off! It's not gonna get better than that. <laughs> We've peaked. <laughs> just like the audio. Soundboard. Why aren't you helping? <laughs> Whatever. Uh, <laughs> Jerry in the chat tonight feels more crackheaded than usual. <laughs> you are right. It's because Cell's uh, here. Well, Cell makes us act like fucking children. I, I tend to bring out the worst in you guys. <laughs> <laughs> it's so true. That's why you're the trauma inducer. <laughs> All right. Well, Toei posted a new trailer for the upcoming King Oja crossover movies yesterday. Okay, so I I hate myself. Never did I once think wow, when this old. special was announced that I was thinking, man, I really hope Zenkaiser Black shows up in this. I never once thought of that. And, and so here he is. Hey, yay! We got Zenkaiser Black! Master Kaido's back! He's here to do one thing. Show up, give the, the two Reds their new movie power-ups, and then fucking leave without explaining anything, probably. Oh, of course. That's, that's, his, that's his character. We, I was talking to people in the Discord about this. How fucking funny would it be if he just like exudes Narutaki energy and he's just throughout, he just exists throughout the Sentai franchise for the next seven years. And then when we finally hit the <laughs> 10 year mark, then he finally explains what the fuck he's doing here. Well, first off, he can't be like Narutaki because Narutaki's storyline just straight up just never got an ending. Or when you got a puppet? I just meant Narutaki in so much as he's just around all the time. Yeah. Just calling it now. He's going to show up next year for the 50th anniversary. And he's like, oh, don't worry, guys. I brought some friends. And it's like every single team. Anytime they need a completely unexplained plot contrivance to happen for the sake of time, Zenkaiser Black will show up and make whatever they need to happen happen. What I is want with him. that outfit, Jeremy? Oh my god! And I know this is true because that was literally the entire length of Don Brothers. That is a loud <laughs> suit. Yeah, ap apparently these versions of the King Ogers in that crossover are like an alternate universe kind of thing. I'm sorry, I, I see that and all I can think is that line, Who shot the couch? <laughs> No, no, well, I, I, I see that and it just makes me scream Now you're just some King Oja I used to know Oh, <laughs> oh yo shirtless Kagaragi This is, so, this is so funny because I've been showing Cell Kyoryuja And we're about halfway through the show And, and we watched the, the Gaburincho movie I was going to bring that up yeah. <laughs> uh, I, sorry, go ahead. I can't wait for Cell to watch I can't wait for Cell to watch <laughs> the 100 years later <laughs> Yeah, there was one scene in the trailer where Kagaragi is apparently sumo wrestling Jiro, and oh my god, Jiro is going to get fucking smashed. Lucky him. <laughs> yeah, Kagaragi, actually, uh, Kagaragi there just looks like Bondo's like older brother from like uh, from Blazer. <laughs> did we talk about? We might have talked about this on the podcast already, but like part of why they they hire such like hunky guys for for Sentai. It's for the moms. Yes. Like, I think we have talked about that, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah there was one shot where uh, King Kyori Red has some sort of new carnival-style power-up. My first guess looking at the color was that it was from Tobaspino, but we already had Tobaspino carnival arms. So I think the prevalent theory going around is that this power-up comes from Arcanolan, one of the Guardian Judenchi. Well, I'm looking Ooh. at, like, the arm, and it's like, that's the tail, right? 
Could be. No, no, it is. I, I can like see the. Yeah. There's the head. The blade is the tail. Yeah. So is something. Is there something like that? Uh, it is in, in vaguely. The Dino Charge Toyland. It is vaguely turtle shaped, so it could be Arcanolon, but it's hard to say. I don't think that is. It's it's yeah. definitely new. It's definitely something that was not in Kyoryuja before. Show me turtle. <laughs> yeah, and the fucking King Gubbery Caliber in the movie folds into the Gubbery Cannon mode, even though the toy can't do that. Sorry, my 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 dinosaur brain is taken over. I'm like, what is this? <laughs> I think I see fins. It could be a turtle. Yeah, I don't know. You, you mean this? Is that yeah, a... that's Arcanolon. No, I wouldn't say that looks. I mean, it's got well, a I saw blade. I like Dino Charge Man over Apu Zord. Oh yeah, you know, Dino Charge, where Bandai actually gave a shit and was most likely their last hurrah yeah. in Power Rangers. Yeah, no, I'm not gonna lie, the Dino Charge line was actually a pretty solid line for, for toys. They made so many more Zords. They made every figure of every Ranger, that was impressive. The Guardians <laughs> didn't actually have actual Zords in uh, in Kuroyuji, so this, that was yeah, there he is. There's, there's the There's the fart Zord. Oh, feed up, poo. Ooh. Get it? All right, so uh, the description we have from this article about the trailer. Uh, in King Odra vs. Dawn Brothers, they they all meet up in Hakabaka, the land of the dead. They all died due to various reasons. I don't know if that means just the Dawn Brothers or the King Odras as well. I don't kill them all. No, no, it's a, the way it's uh, put, they are now in Hakabaka, right? Yeah. So I, I would love it if there was like just... A montage of a comedy of errors where they all like die in accidents. <laughs> no, amazing. I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm gonna say they all died because it was all Haruka's fault. Fucking <laughs> probably. I could see that. <clears throat> uh, yeah. And then if we have confirmation that Kita Komagine will reprise his role as Zenkaiser Black. The film is being yep. written by King Oger, head writer Minato Takano, and directed by veteran Super Sentai director Hiroyuki Kato. Uh, and then in King Oger vs. Kyoryuger, Daigo and Uchi are on a journey in pursuit of Dagdead. Uh, Uchi is sent to Earth in another time. They arrive on Earth, which is invaded by the Daboth army, unable to save the universe from Dagdead. They head back to the original timeline, but due to changes in the timeline, Uchu King Gira reigns over Chikyu. So, Interesting. So Gira uh -huh. is an actual Jakuno. <laughs> And hence that that we get... sounds too confusing. <laughs> it's anytime there's time travel and space travel, it's going to get far too complicated to keep track of. But long story short, what if Gira was evil? Basically, King Oger is doing their own version of what if. Yeah. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> I've been watching What If season two lately, yeah. and I'm really enjoying it. And in the in the trailer, I just love Gira's like gigantic, like frilly, like. The giant lapels yeah, of it's like, evil. Well, like, how, how can we show that Gear is actually evil now? I know. Slick his hair all the way fucking back. They should have, what they really should have done was like angle his eyebrows. Oh my god, just get, go full Stephen Strange. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Angry Eyes. Hey, Hachi, you see my eyebrows? Sorry to derail quickly, but they're, they're making a new X figure art and he actually looks proper. <laughs> Ooh, premium, premium colors. Look at the silver paint. Oh yeah! Oh yeah! Yeah. Due to timeline changes, all the King Ogers are different in this new version that we're going to see in the King Oger Kuroyuger movie. So I'm super excited to see that. Yeah. No, Tom is just a hipster. I'm just happy to see the Don Brothers again. <laughs> oh, it's I love it. interesting mention here. The first Super Sentai VS double billing. Really? Apparently. Wow. Yuji, oh, yeah, these Yuji are, Sentai these are movies are going to be. Usually oh. Sentai movies are paired with Rider movies. Oh. Uh, both films are a limited theatrical run April 26th, and then the films on Blu-ray and DVD October 9th. We have to wait so long! Yeah. No, I, feel like there's, I feel like with the Fies movie, it's going to get bootlegged. I can only hope. No. Say that again. Or anything possible now. <laughs> I mean, support no, I the official release! <laughs> there you go. Now you can say whatever you want. Yeah. Blank check for Mayhem. Uh, Herpaderps. Right. Uh, these specials are only, from my heard, are going to be like 25 minutes each. Like most Sentai movies. Yeah, that, that tracks. We watched yeah, so uh, the Hero... like a... I was going to say, we watched the Hero Drew movie mm -hmm. yesterday. That was only like, what, 20 minutes? Half it, hour? Half hour, yeah. 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 
yeah so these are just two 25 minute specials each and then they become you know, like 150 hour block in a sense and then they combine to a double feature oh could you imagine if they both like like they did what the old school common rider crossovers did movie wars where, like they yeah like the movie war style where they just yep. lead into each other yeah there's like a one series section then a second series section and a third section where they meet up this is probably obvious but when i think about it now it's like okay yeah you take your kids to this like for a matinee earlier in the day 20 minutes half hour they have a washroom break they come back see the next one yeah like it's genius i tell you i thought you were gonna go they they start watching the movie 15 minutes in they pass out you leave <laughs> and then the, profit. then the kids ask daddy why is the other man sweaty and hyper fixated over that one character well uh, <laughs> we're gonna learn about uh fandom today son mm. oh who am i kidding he's a hikamori he wouldn't leave <clears throat> just to go see a movie hikikomori Kikamori. I'm sure we'll be watching both of these. So absolutely, Ichi, like, oh, as we as we find out later, Don Brothers is never leaving your life. Yeah, <laughs> some shape or form. Unfortunately. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. Next, uh, speaking of upcoming attractions, we got a preview of upcoming episodes of Common Rider Outsiders, and not only are we getting a new Genmu form, we're also getting Common Rider Zero Three. Yeah. Gee, I wonder what he's supposed to be referencing. I, I like it. You can just yeah, look at the helmet, he, and it's you can see that it's V3. Yeah. Uh, I, I love it, because V3 is my favorite show rider. V3's cool. I like the I like the Kamen Rider, the next well, version. Who's the Sephiroth-looking guy? Uh, this one? Oh. Yeah. That's Kamen Rider Genmu's new form from Exit. Yeah. Oh, it's our, our lord and savior, Dan Kuroto. I'm sorry, um, Shinden yeah. Kuroto? Uh, mean Let's God. <laughs> uh, so yes, mean there God. was a preview of the upcoming fifth episode, Goddess of Genesis and the Third Singularity. <clears throat> That's a title. Yeah. Uh, there's hint that Zero Three might be evil. That's interesting. Uh, yeah, I it might be Ark. Yeah, there's, it might be Ark is what we're hearing. Which would make sense. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Written by Yuya Takahashi of Exade and Geats fame. Directed by Takayuki Shibasaki of Geats X Revice Movie Battle Royale. Uh, the episode will be premiering May 12th on TTFC. So we will probably see it shortly after. Ah, uh, yes. He's the Mexican writer. <laughs> he's got the Mexico color. At least the fucking Zane driver, damn you! No, because they don't want to have a make a belt where you put cards in it and then it shreds them. The fact that they haven't <laughs> announced it yet means there must be some function of it they haven't shown yet. Yeah, they're they're gonna wait until the show comes out on Blu-ray. Uh, then start releasing uh, premium premium Bandai Zane driver. If she wants it, because you gotta get all those cards ready. In which, with the whole shredding thing, like calling it now, it's probably going to be like a glass thing on the belt and it looks like it's being like shredded yeah I, d I doubt the actual toy will actually shred cards could you imagine imagine it fucking did though i would <laughs> die that's like a toy they would have in like even the 60s. if you know what the funny thing is even if they don't someone will modify it to do that it's just it's, Wait, it's, it's, two card sets. <laughs> like if, it's, it's, it's like if you got the C, like a csm uh like zero dose belt and just it came with like a bunch of cards every time you used the card to change it, it would just disappear. Yeah. <laughs> now, and now, here's the question though, guys would you want a functional shredder in the belt area of your body? <laughs> Do you want something See, that shreds okay. cards near your I, dick? I fucking love the irony behind this screenshot right here because he has like a vice card, summons vice, but then. Shreds because the cards to do it. Because it's driver, the cards shredded, so Vice can't ever come back. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm like, that's, that's awful. That is such, I know, it's awful. It's terrible, but it's so clever. Dog dicer! <laughs> no, 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 dice for hot dogs, people, come on. Oh my god. <laughs> what if you want to put them in, uh, like, mac and cheese? Yeah. Eh. God damn it, now I want to do that. Right? You good. I know what I'm having for dinner tomorrow. And every American listener just went, oh. <laughs> what the hell are they talking about? Oh. All right, very cool. Uh, 
Uh, this week in SH Figure Arts news, they announced SH Figure Arts of Common Rider Horobi Arc Scorpion. Oh yeah, like, oh, damn it. <laughs> what, what's up with the too. photography? They like the one of the eyes is fucking broken. <laughs> Why would they do that? Because he's so cool. Because it's Horobi. He's edgy. <laughs> Like it. The I like last the purple. thing Seiji the Kai wears. Like exactly. yeah. He better he better come better come with thirty shot risers that you can just plant <laughs> on the ground. Uh, oh, he boy, that's that's the thing. Like, he comes with like almost every side weapon. He comes with the attached arrow, the attached caliber, and a thousand jacker. What's not to love? No shot riser. What the fuck? <laughs> no, because he never used it. No, but there were shot risers when like on the. No, there wasn't. It was all sword okay. weapons. It was all blade weapons. I swear he summoned shot there were shot risers everywhere. I don't no. remember. No, it was it was all sorts. Like all bladed weapons because that's what Horby used. Oh, okay. Oh, he must have else. used the bow. The bow is technically kind of blue. Can you imagine if there were shot I'm risers so. everywhere? Just bing, 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 bing. <laughs> Oh yeah. You're right. Okay, maybe maybe I maybe I was just thinking of something else. <laughs> Yeah. He looks fucking dope, though. Agreed. He said that the Ichi Goddess suit got recycled to become this. Oh, that is what it is. This is a simplicity that works really well for me. I like the, like, just the over, and I, I, I love asymmetrical helmets like that, especially mm -hmm. if they're going for the, oh, yeah. the broken yeah. look. This was just the response to all the Horby fans being like, what the fuck, why doesn't Horby have a new form? And then Toy was like, <laughs> Fine. shut up, here you go. Last episode of the series, here you go, Hor new Horby form. <laughs> so edgy, and, and, I love him. And like, I, and like I said, I I want to say this is the final suit Seiji Akawa ever wore in Kamen Rider before he subbed. I don't know. Unless he came back in the Fives movie, I'm not sure. I know he made a cameo in the Fives movie. By the way, I saw the Fives movie. Yeah, that was pretty good. Yeah, better oh, than yeah. the. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely say better than the O's anniversary movie. Yeah, yeah I saw the O's anniversary movie. <laughs> For reasons I won't spoil. <laughs> all right also in merch news this Jesus. this was so fucking funny i wanted to include this they're releasing oh. a plush of the boon boonger emblem tire that's cute and if you buy this you also get the don brothers legend bus oh <laughs> i love it i love it's a pink bus because momo momo <laughs> which one's your favorite tire it's got the Hashilian emblem on the back. I like I I unironically think that's badass. Like a Kraken engine? Are you kidding? Yeah. Oh, it's got it's got don't don't. It looks like a mind flare. <laughs> oh, it's got it's the mech on the other side. That's cool. yeah. The, you know what these like look like? These look like stuff you would win at like like Wonderland or like, <laughs> something like you know hanging up from the booth. You know. Yeah. Uh, hundred percent polyester plush. Approximately twelve inches across. Very cool. It's like you. How much are you going for? Eighty-two dollars US. Well, this is the Toka collectibles price, so yeah, their know. their pricing is a little higher than How most other prices. Twelve inches across. Go for... And then they'll probably send it through DHL and not send you any notification about it. And then you might end up losing your figure. Seriously, Toe Collectibles, make it just one payment only thing. I was about to say, plus DHL's customs fees is probably another $42. Is that an actual fucking Mario Kart? I would love it if it was. That would be actually sick. <laughs> it's a double-decker bus. That'd be awesome. <laughs> All <fuck>? right. <laughs> And yeah, also in bus. also in news, be, simply because it was a light news week. Otherwise, mm -hmm. uh, Godzilla MonsterVerse spinoff, Monarch Legacy of Monsters season two announced. Cool. So, yeah. so guys, t take a wild guess on what was the number one movie for two weeks in a row? Uh, Godzilla vs Kong or Godzilla Kong? Yeah, if if you said Godzilla Kong: The New Empire, you're right. I'll watch it. It's really good. It's really fun. It's a lot of fun. Uh, I'm seeing it tomorrow. Oh, Yay! Oh, according to, according to Kaguya, uh, Seiji Kawa did not come back for the Thais suit for the anniversary movie. That's a bit upsetting because he made a cameo in that movie. Yeah. I guess, I guess, contract wise, he just oh, he straight up retired. Oh, okay. Mm. Uh, but yeah, just Monster se or <laughs> Monarch season two. That's good. Um, does this mean we can get more more of that Kong Skull Island show? 
so that it can actually have a proper ending? No. <laughs> that show is terrible. That's why we need it to end properly and not just end off stupid cliffhanger. That's how we get a new season. I didn't like that show. Monarch, I'm, I'm, I think it's fine. Like It's good. I'll even say it's good. It's just, I'm not one mostly for television these days, unfortunately. Mm, yeah, one of, yeah, apparently, well, not apparently, because of the success. <laughs> Because of the success of the new Empire, uh, Legendary's just been going all not, like fully on board of we're gonna keep making these movies. Well, like, it, it, like I'm glad for that, but like with this, th- this kind of speaks to me like what HBO is doing with Game of Thrones, where it's like we need something, some content. No, seriously, because HBO's got like content. nothing. Like it's got nothing. I think like Apple TV, like they they've got basically nothing. This was kind of a hit though, so. Ugh, oh yeah, Apple man. TV has nothing. I I literally I I got it like I did like the week trial thing uh-huh. just because that was the only way to watch Wolf Walkers, mm. <laughs> and then I got rid of it. <laughs> I'm not gonna watch your Tom Hanks submarine movie or whatever the fuck. Although I do hear the prehistoric uh, planet uh, show is pretty good. So. Oh, I want to watch the Tetris movie. <laughs> Oh yeah, I heard that's good too. I'm sorry, Tetris yeah. movie. It's it's about it's the guy movie, who made Tetris. The, oh, that's about the guy who made Tetris. But apparently, it's like really, really over exaggerated and over the top. So it, it's not Lord Tetrises. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, yeah, that's uh, that's the thing that's happening. I, I gotta watch that's season cool. one. All right, that is it for the news. Very light news week this week, which is fine because yeah. we got lots to talk about otherwise. Hmm. So we talk about the first thing. Let's do it. Gotcha. Oh. Sorry, do you have something to say, Gar? Oh, uh, uh, don't worry. I'll say I'll say it right as we uh, start the uh, start the episode. All right, bumper. <laughs> Kenny, I gotta go back, back, back to school again. <laughs> okay. So I watched this episode this week. And I had a, I had a, I had a fucking revelation. Okay. I know, at least for me, I know what's wrong with this show. There's nothing wrong with it. <laughs> no, hear me out though. I think this series should have just taken a page out of Forze's book and just been a, a, a writer series about alchemy and stuff focused around high school. That's what we thought it was going to be when it was advertised. Yeah, no. that, that's what I'm, that's why I've been, not, I, you know what, that's, I think that might be one of the reasons why I haven't been enjoying it is because they haven't been in school because like, they were on break and I'm just like, huh. <laughs> but that, that so would have been, been, that would have been cool. fine if it was con- yeah. confined to the we are on break for this amount of time, but I legitimately cannot remember the last time I saw them in school. It was more than a couple of episodes ago. It's been like Poss- probably like 20, 20 episodes, honestly. Oh, no. no. Even during was, when um... they were supposed to be in school, we never got scenes of them at school aside from the alchemy school. It was yeah. um, right after their uh, sensei got, uh, their sensei betrayed them. They stopped yeah. doing the school stuff. Yep. Yeah. Mm. The sensei betrays you. can't go to school. But I love that we've yeah. come full circle in that as we watch Minato with his civilian scruffy hair walk back into teaching them again. I- I miss that. I missed home home teacher Minato. Yeah. Do, do you know who I was kind of like half expecting it to be for a second? Just because it's the only guy I remember. Remember like earlier on they had that Western teacher. Yeah. Oh, the one who the one who was Steve. popped out of existence and then never seen again. Never seen again. He's still <laughs> dead. Then he comes in at the end. He was the final boss the whole time. He's here. <laughs> no. <laughs> It's no time um, for that, though, because uh, what happens, Ichi? We have to recycle the fucking same plot you see in literally every high school story ever known to man. We have a transfer student. It's a girl. It's a longtime childhood friend of the main character. They 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 grew up together. They did the whole, oh, I'll marry you when we're older plot. And of course, now we have a fucking love rivalry between her and the actual main female character who spends the entire episode going through ye old arc of maybe I did have feelings that were there all along. I don't know. Ichi. I, I, like, I, I, I actually I, like that. Well, 
I, I can kind of see it. Oh. <laughs> what did we watch yesterday? <laughs> Literally the exact same description of the Kill Ryuger movie. <laughs> End the show! Minus school! That was the only difference! <laughs> like, what you were saying is, like, I, I seen, I think I've seen this exact <laughs> plotline three times within 24 hours. <laughs> uh, that's, yeah, see, that's, I agree with what Seven said. Like, I didn't really see as Rene being like, like, oh, maybe I do love Hodo. I think she's just upset that she doesn't like this girl just coming out of nowhere and just kind of pushing herself into their circle. I, I don't know. That ju- because that leaves Rene now being an outcast once again after yeah. they spent the entire show becoming very close friends. Yeah, I felt really sad for her, honestly, this whole fucking that honestly, no, no, that, sad that, for that honestly says more about Rene, I think, and her own insecurities. I'm sorry that your friends have other friends that they knew before you. Also, like, correct me if I'm wrong. Wasn't she really upset when it's like, oh, and they're going to kiss in the play? That's why it, it was pot. That's why it felt like, oh, is this her realizing that she had feelings all along? Because she didn't really start having a problem until like, she went all, can we kiss? I, I think they're both right, honestly. Like, I do think it's also like she doesn't like being left out. Like, because, yeah, I do also At feel no sorry. At no point her, is like, she being actively left out, except maybe by Senna herself, because she just she's just that bitch. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh speak, I, uh, actually, sorry to cut you off, Lane. Yeah. Uh, speaking of Senna, she's actually in the Fives movie. I was trying to remember. I did forgot to look it up. I, she looks familiar. I couldn't remember who she was. Yeah, yeah she yeah she was the orphan uh, with the boyfriend. Oh, that's what I thought. Uh-huh. Oh, I thought she looked familiar. The, You're gonna have the, so many kids. <laughs> this is a, so minor that I don't mind saying it, but like, oh, you mean the one who had a long time relationship with this one character who, when that male partner of hers was immediately murdered, she within five minutes rebounded to the next nearest Orphanoc man in sight? <laughs> yeah. Yes. Um, don't worry, we'll name our kid after him. Oh my God. <laughs> I, I, it's, I just like I, I for one personally just don't really care if my friends like my close friends hang out with like other people because like it's like if like Ichi would, like he has his like his his Final Fantasy 14 guild and like I, and he's like oh I'm gonna go play with them and I'd be like no fuck you you can't play with them play with me like no I'm not gonna <laughs> stop you from playing playing your favorite game with other people so there was a, there was like a joking bit where like I was in voice chat with them and I mentioned for the first time that i was hanging out with you my my actual best friend and they were like what you have a best friend besides us <laughs> it was a joke but it was still a funny bit yeah <laughs> um also kajiki's back i'm happy about that Kajiki! Uh, and he's still with hiji oh, okay let's let's get into that no let's no get no into no, that. We no have- we're, we're delaying that as long as possible kajiki no, needs to be highlighted it. He's, he's here, he still somehow has not undergone permanent brain damage, and he's still in his relationship with Hiji. That's amazing, and I want more of them, too. Yeah, we were talking, like, it was like, we were always saying, I wonder if they were going to bring that back up. They did. Just as a passing mention, I just, <laughs> it's something. We, we couldn't afford to bring her back for yeah, another scene. stock footage is fine. <laughs> Kajiki. I thought you went off to go be Watson. Oh, you know, I did. Then I ended up back in Kyoto. I saw Hiji again, got a quick quickie. Then I came back to school. They, that's, yeah, they never mentioned, like, he and Hoshino were supposed to go off and be detectives. And I guess in so, at some point from know, between now and the what? last episode, oh, 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 Kajiki it, just it, fucked it, off and came oh, back to Tokyo. Oh, no, it's simple. He realized Juggler Hoshino was Saki. a fraud. No, Juggler and Saki met up with each other, traded some Ultra stuff, and then left Kajiki behind. <laughs> I love that I can make two. Wait, what is up with Kajiki being close to Ultraman actors? I don't know, but what I was going to say was to simplify it even more, those two episodes were filler shit. (laughs) Yeah, no, they were. Gun Cannon didn't happen. It was was character focused for uh, Money Girl. So. Gar, I know you're, you're, you know I, you're I, gonna hate. I love mm. how you were pleading that these episodes were important for a character whose name you forgot. I, I can't help it. I've been up for like twenty hours. Hey, Gar, I know, <laughs> you know you're gonna be upset like hearing this because like I know he's your favorite character, but I love that. It it is confirmed. Spanner as right of right now has been reduced to oh he just shows up to fight. 
That's He's it. the third rider. They gave him the exact same treatment as Necrom. Once his plot arc was done, he does nothing of importance yeah. and is just there for fights. Look at yeah, Clotho was literally there to attack fucking what's her face and, and Minato. And then Spanner just comes out of fucking nowhere and goes, no, bitch, you're fighting me. And I'm like, all right, <laughs> sure. I love how they transitioned from the alchemy school to what I can only assume is the alchemy school's parking garage. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, apparently we learned some behind the scenes where, like, apparently they were gonna film, like, the fight, like, the henshin and fight and stuff, like, outside, but then, like, I think it was, like, budget reasons or something? I don't know. I can't it remember. was raining. They couldn't they film during the eclipse. <laughs> I like that they henshined indoors. That was cool. I like, I like when, they, when they do that. My ring's outside. <laughs> It's like it's like an, it's, uh, like, I always like in Rider when they like film in like really weird locations. It's like in Forza when they had a, a Rider fight in a bowling alley. I was like, that's yeah. that's just awesome. It's random but right. super awesome. Um, but uh, about that scene where like Clotho breaks through the fucking roof of the Academy School. Cell so and I were talking as we watched that. It's just like she breaks in like Lakisa, you got to come back. <laughs> and we were just saying, and Lakisa says no. And, and and then we just imagine Clotho going, okay, whoop, and just goes <laughs> back out the hole. <laughs> <laughs> but no, she's she's too much of an angry bitch for to see reason. No, I get to see that now. Just come back to us. No. Oh. Didn't plan this far. Well, I, did, I, I, didn't, I didn't plan this far. Just slowly walks out of the room just to never be seen again. <laughs> No, Deckers, then Kaiser Black did everything and more. Remember, there's the back had a lot of space in it. <laughs> uh, okay, we need to talk about it. I'm sorry. So, yeah, we got a Don, we got a Don Brothers cameo. It was fucking what hilarious. What the actual fuck? As someone, it was, it was... <laughs> hold on. As someone who hasn't seen much of Don Brothers, I will never not recognize that Ace. Who? Which one? Did you know or someone? Which one do you think? <laughs> the one that looks like he's walked into a car crash. The one who looks <laughs> like a drawn character. Like, <laughs> that one looks one like an one. illustration. The blue one. Yes. I think it's Sonoza, yeah. No. Okay. So it's so, it's yeah, so funny because his just... his bit in John Brothers was he was trying to learn how to emote. So he would frequently go up to people with his nightmare face and go, "Is this how you laugh? <laughs> Am I smiling correctly?" So, yeah, oh, yeah. so apparently Sona's on, Sona's on, Sona's on Kichino's actors are, I guess, high school students in this, even though, like, Kichino's actors, like, well into his 30s. L Lane, this is high school in the 1980s. That's true. All right, yeah, thirty love, year olds love, are the new fifteen. I love so yeah, they're doing like a comedy bit. So I love Kichino's holding like a pink bird because yeah, and then I love he's got a pheasant and so and the guy playing and Sona's this guy has like a stick and I'm like oh that references the spear he was using. <laughs> No, but then he does like a car reference, and apparently that's like him making fun of Haruka's driving when yeah. she was in the driving episode. So that was fucking hilarious. And I then love they that and shit. then they talk and then they shit talk some manga that they were reading, and I'm like, did they just insult Haruka's Don Brothers manga? Yeah, no, they actually insulted Haruka's manga. That's so no, fucking these, funny. These two are just shit talking Haruka behind her back. Yeah, yeah, no. I mean, she's a gold mine of comedy material. You see Haruka, she yeah. drives like this. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I can see it. They're, they're filming like the Don Brothers King Oger like V Cinema. And just you know, just <laughs> while we have you. Hey, um, does anyone here want a bit roll on a uh, common writer? Well, I'm not busy. Uh, are you busy? Uh, I'm not. Uh, well, we need two of you. You and you. Let's go. I would I mean, love to know why these no. two specifically. Specifically in this just... shot, he looks like Austin Powers. <laughs> <laughs> like, he does look like Austin Powers. How did I never notice that? <laughs> they I don't look like fucking Austin Powers. <laughs> <laughs> I showed you guys that, right? <laughs> that one time. Oh my god, I don't know. I'm putting Wait. that in the chat. Just... Oh, B, how are you? But yeah, so uh, the other plot I, I, of the, the, high, the high school plot of the episode that kicks off from here is the head of the drama club is desperate for members, so our main protagonists get themselves involved like any high school show protagonist would do, and they say, okay, well, we'll, we'll help you put on Romeo and Juliet in order to attract more members. So Hotaro oh, gets yeah. voluntold into being Romeo, and I love this <laughs> tiny little bit that happens where Kajigi's like, 
All right, well, that means Ka- uh, Juliet is either me or Rene. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm like, oh my no. God, can I see that version, please? Well, I hope that's so, what they go with. So, like, when the head of the drama club, like, he was like, you know, oh, I saw that. I saw that video. The drama club, and like, he's like, you know, he's like, he's like begging and stuff like that. Like, and they're like, oh man, it must be really bad for him. And I just sat there going, no, guys, he's just dramatically acting <laughs> that's how i saw it at least i thought he was just like oh, being oh, over no. the top for like promoting but i guess no, that not. was real guess, oh, no. <laughs> yeah well, 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 the fact that he's the only member left in the drama club yeah that's sad it doesn't seem right for a high school drama club you think more people would be interested yeah, it's exactly. tw- it's 2024 no no kids are into acting anymore they're all into reaction videos Do you they're forget all, high school they're trying videos? to was the- did you forget High School Heroes was a thing? I was gonna say this kind of sort of reminded me of High School Heroes, how their early plot was about trying to get members. All these kids just... too busy trying to be TikTok stars. Oh, okay, yeah, no, yeah. Hey, can you explain this reference? I was yeah, confused. yeah. Okay, so uh, part of the part of the underlying reason for uh, Hotaro and Rene being shipped together as a pair is the Ichi in Ichinose is one. And the ku from Kudo is nine. So one plus nine equals ten. So it was like, oh, they're a match just like the cards. So Tsukumo comes in, and part of her name means 99. So one plus 99 equals 100. So it, it, the implication was that they're a much stronger pairing than Hotaro and Rene. Yeah, <laughs> fucking like Sasabi Maru just like yells it and fucking I with Isaac, and I'm like, okay. <laughs> did like something did that iPod do? just talk? <laughs> <laughs> it was. You know what else was weird? I, it was the, the the fact that Isaac knew what Romeo and Juliet was, but Sabi didn't. <laughs> I think is the way that scene happened. Yeah, so- Sabi's sheltered. Then I just, I love that eventually, like, Atropos shows up, and she's just like, yeah, that's right, bitch, fucking suffer. <laughs> You're gonna suffer for killing my dad! Yeah, she just oh, yeah, suddenly way, decides... Carry on, carry on her dad. Well, like, he created them, so yeah, that's not as big as a surprise as I think they wanted it to no, be. They, they, they made it seem like that. They were like, yeah, they're like, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna suffer for, for getting rid of my father, and I was like, oh, fuck. <gasps> they wanted it dad? to be a big reveal, but it was like, yeah, I guess. I, I've seen Full Metal Alchemist. I know they're that, homunculi. That they we know re- this. We know. I know that they refer to him as father. Like, <laughs> I've, I've read the manga, guy. Like, father, <laughs> give me longer <laughs> legs. <laughs> my legs are long. I, I, dude, your legs are long. My legs are fucking long. Also, what the actual fuck was with that? Like animated hopper one <laughs> moving across the screen to transition between one scene and the other in this episode? That's the biggest reaction I've ever seen you give from the show. They've <laughs> never done that, and it was completely unnecessary, but they did it as if this was a fucking, like, children's animation show, and it's like, we have no decent way to transition between scenes, so... <laughs> Listen, it's episode 30, all right? Let's just, oh my God, let's we're just make it to the end goal. <laughs> we're two. in episode 30. We still have 20 more episodes of this. That, you know what that means? We're gonna, means we're gonna get the next Rider trademark soon. Oh, yeah. Huh. That's, that's very soon. You know what I think is another contributing factor to why Gotchard isn't hitting as hard as Geats does? Or mm. did? With mm. Geats... Even though they were always doing like, oh, it's a, it's another Desire Grand Prix, or it's another Blank Grand Prix, or it's another, another this, or it's another that. With it, the entirety of Geats' run, you always felt that there were stakes. Their pressure yeah. was always on, there was always something important happening. Gotchar does not they're, have they're, that. All the, char- all the characters are really fucking cool. <laughs> Not that, like, the Gotcha characters aren't, like, interesting. They are interesting, but I just feel like the Geats crew are cooler. The, the Geats characters are more well-rounded and less gimmicky. G- gotcha is light, and, you know, as we said, that's by design. But yeah. That can, that can also be grading if that's not your sensibility, right? Mm-hmm. Well, uh, at least I, well, at least I like it. No, that's, that's, that's fine. Cool. Every time I, I've never disliked Gotcha, I should say. Yeah, yeah no, like it, it, to anyone who's been enjoying the fuck out of Gotcha, like absolutely own it. I, I always encourage people if you really love something, just like go fucking ham on how much you love it. It's just for me, just Gotcha hasn't just been 
keeping me interested as much. Yeah. I guess you could say it's not your gotcha. <laughs> yeah, like, honestly, like I said, Sentai for the past few years has just been really fucking nailing it, so I've just been more drawn to Sentai the past few years. This is, really, this is really fucking pedantic of me, but it just annoys me to no end how Hotaro constantly uses his catchphrase, so this is your gotcha, right? As if like that's that. just a thing in regular people's lexicons, and no one questions him on it. Um, Ichi, it's his security blanket. <laughs> <laughs> Never gonna let that go. He, sleep, he sleeps with a blanket that says gotcha on it. <laughs> well, well, well yeah, yeah, my, he established in the first episode that that has always been his catchphrase. Yeah. Sure, but... And he, ha he hangs out with everyone. Yeah, I'm pretty sure at the school, it's like, who's that guy? Oh, it's Hotoro. To be fair, no, but he's, also, he says he is, gotcha. It's his, it, that's just his thing. He said it around people he had not met before the episode and established such precedent, and still no one questions him. Yeah, well, well okay. and I get it's for pacing's sake. We can't stop and uh, deconstruct this every fucking time. Not, not, not even that. Like, I'll, I'll actually give him some credit. Like in universe, isn't he seen as like a quirky guy? But since he's like, nice, yeah. there, he's harmless oh, yeah. sort of thing. Yeah, so like, he, hey, whatever. Yeah, he's still a lovable dork. He made up some words, but you know he he helps he helps his mom with the with the. He's restaurant. a protagonist. He makes up words. It's, yeah. it's part of the yeah, yeah, territory. Yeah. Dude, dude, his dad's not around. Right. He heads. helps his mom out all the time for free. <laughs> on the on the pay on the on the fucking note of Gotchard not having plot consistency, we still have not addressed what the fuck is up with his dad. <laughs> it's gonna be it's in the finale. His dad's a blur. <laughs> it's gonna his be check off the gun. His dad's not important. Yeah, 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 it's gonna be okay. If his dad wasn't important, why would they hide him the way they are? No, okay. Spoilers for the ending to Sergeant Frog. Oh no. <gasps> At least anime wise. <laughs> the family keeps going around saying spring is coming. Spring is coming. We gotta get ready. For those that don't know, their names are basically like I think it's like winter, fall, and summer. Spring is their dad, and their dad's just been working abroad. And, right. the, and the show literally ends with the dad finally showing up. Oh, huh. So, so I feel like that's just going to be it. His dad just... Because at least from what I understand, his mom doesn't know. Like, she may know where he is. I want his dad to be the movie villain. That's <laughs> <laughs> the magic. Bo Kendrick did it. Freaking Bo Ken Red's dad was in the movie. Oh, <laughs> shit. With Zero Spectre. Oh, yeah, Star Wars did it. <laughs> Simpsons did it. Simpsons did it. <laughs> so yeah, uh, Simpsons Senna Simpsons. decides to confront Rene directly, which is something most high school romances like this wait at least half a season to do. So <laughs> props to them for speeding through this tropey bullshit. Are you two going out? No. I want to... <laughs> cool. Yeah, but I, I, I heard you had matching rings. Yeah. What the? F yeah, and she doesn't even press them on that. <laughs> Yeah, and then Atropos just like is just like, oh yeah, I, I she sent me to send this amalgam after you, and she's like, what? And like, and like she, Rene clearly goes, no, that's that's a lie. I did it, and then she's like, you are doing it, aren't you? And I'm like, I, I love how Atropos it. exists purely to fuck with Rene's life. At this point. Oh yeah, she's a little kid. She's she's not a little kid. She's like a several hundred years old, and just it happens to have the body of a child. And that <laughs> makes it okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just love the shot. Like it's like she stands there off in the distance as she summons the fucking Blizzamoth Malgum to attack them all, and then like with no transition, like we cut away to the others, and then we cut back to Atropos, and all of a sudden she's just on the jungle oh, gym. I, I love that. You can tell the director's like, okay, like whatever the actor's name is, like get out, get on the jungle. It's gonna be adorable. <laughs> I am having fun. We goes down the slot. <laughs> she, like, I was genuinely expecting her to be like. Like monologuing evilly, like on all the while equipment. hanging around shit. Yeah, no, like on the swings, like back and forth. <laughs> like, there's something the so unwholesome. <laughs> this is symbolism for how I'm going to murder you. Oh my god! And like me, my me myself personally, I was so fucking triggered by those swing sets because like they're the kind of swings where like the chains were like. They were not there were individual sections that you could absolutely jam your finger like, in. Especially a small kid. Like, yeah. It's like, oh my god, that, that looks like a real jungle gym they found, too. I, oh. oh, yeah. I love, I love swings, but, like, because how nice. my hip is, 
it's just every time I swing on a swing, it just digs into my right hip, and it's just so fucking uncomfortably painful. So no, like, like swinging. I also like the swings, but I, I I feel a similar pain because like, and then I realize, oh yeah, these are designed for ten year olds. <laughs> yeah, no, <laughs> like <laughs> adult swings. What are those? <laughs> Well, um, you find um, them at certain stores. <laughs> probably an adult yeah. sized playground somewhere. <laughs> I'm gonna start yeah, making yeah, those. Called, uh... <laughs> Invest in that. But uh also, yeah. I I like how the, the park that they were at is the same park that they've been going to. So it's like nice consistency. The one where Rene did alchemy in clear view of the public and no one did anything about it. They've been doing that for for all the whole time though, yeah. honestly. Yeah. Like. Whatever. It's not new, but it's still a problem. It is, yeah. I love she just sent she into Majade and she just couldn't fucking do anything because she was so fucking just like emotionally distraught. (laughs) And I'm like, oh, great, cool. So, yeah, Mm. Platinum Gotchard runs in to help, and the episode just ends with her like weak on the ground. Weird cliffhanger. No! Yeah, no, again, Majade in terms of design is, is cool. I just hate that her power runs on a battery. That's so fucking stupid. Well, she didn't dehension because of a battery issue. She just, like, no, got I know. defeated. No, I know, but I just hate the concept that she runs on the battery. It's almost, it's not as bad as Kamen Rider Ginga, though, because, like, a rider that's solar-powered, like, that's so dumb. <laughs> fucking still like that. I hated hate Ginga. Ginga's so stupid. <laughs> It was funny though because like I was thinking like don't we have like a play to wrap up like like because this feels like near the end I was like oh it's a two parter yeah like, <laughs> next week oh, we're yeah. gonna get the play oh, yeah. Gotchard Gotchard does the two part episode storyline I love it Seven says uh, <laughs> she ran of emotional battery I guess <laughs> don't we all, time though. to go be an introvert again don't we all uh but yeah next week it looks like we're gonna get the Romeo and Juliet play finally. <laughs> I was oh thinking God, the old the fucking, he's like the night bed. <laughs> I was thinking too, it's like you know, Romeo and Juliet, I don't know if that's a minimalist play. Maybe do our town or something. <laughs> no, no, do a fellow. That's a really interesting one. No, no, they're just gonna do the ending scene to Romeo and Juliet. Or are they just doing a scene? <laughs> Probably. I, like, I like a I like a fellow because it's Romeo and Juliet, <laughs> but with fucking racism. <laughs> that, that might be the play. Play no for real. That might be the single greatest review I've ever heard. <laughs> it's like Rom- Romeo and Juliet featuring <laughs> racism. Yeah, legit. That's no, what a fellow is. You're, 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 you, you ain't wrong. <laughs> I, I prefer go. Uh, well, like we read, we read, we read. A, I read Othello in high school, and then instead of watching like a movie that was about like Othello in like the proper time, it was a modern version of Othello. So. It's interesting. Uh, you know what my absolute favorite like take on this trope is though, like doing the play, and usually it is Romeo and Juliet in high school. Remember when they did that in Hey Arnold? <laughs> favorite oh, version yeah. of this. Oh, thank <laughs> you. Thank you very much. We had to do Equus for my drama school play. Oh wow. <laughs> we did Greece. Um, nice. You guys I did, sw- I, did, I did Arsenic and Old Lace. We did fame. <laughs> Although I might, you did Equus. Yeah, is that a full male nudity? <laughs> I'm high school version. It wasn't like a stage thing in front of the school. It was just like a, in a class thing. Although my one of my I English, decided to go for it. <laughs> one of my English classes, every book we read, we also acted out. Like I, I remember we got in costume for King Lear. Oh, that's cool, actually. Yeah. yeah. I, I remember. I remember when we uh, my English class we read of mice and men and just fucking. The entire classroom was in tears when, like, what happened to Lenny. Oh, <laughs> so yeah. Not <laughs> Lenny! <laughs> no, and then we watched the movie adaptation oh, of Mice no. and Men, and that was even worse. <laughs> oh, man. Why don't they do a play of a Japanese folklore? Uh, Romeo and Juliet is popular. Like, know, Shakespeare's popular they worldwide. Like, they know we're watching. <laughs> well, well, Okagia brings up just the... F- you know what irks me? The fact that Romeo and Juliet keeps being portrayed as a romance story when it's not. Yeah. It, I mean, they do it, die. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, they it die. Be- it, Shakespeare has a lot. It of is a romance story. It is a romance. It's a tragic romance. And it's, it's a like a summer fling that ends poorly. 
It's like reasons before it's, it's that... time, really. <laughs> yeah. Go watch, go watch Literally Romeo before and... it's time, because they're dead. Go watch um, the Romeo and Juliet adaptation where it's like, it's Leonardo, it's Leonardo DiCaprio's in oh it. It's Romeo. Oh, it's, it's, it's set in modern day, but they all speak sh the Shakespearean like language. So I watched that weird. in my high school. I watched that in my high school drama class. It was the cringiest shit I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah John Leguizamo was in it too. Yes. <laughs> Yes, I hate the word. Anyways, no, Juliet. <laughs> anyways, let's move on. Boom, boom, church time. Boom. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, boom. Mira's wearing yellow again. <laughs> Oh my god, this episode was so fucking good. If there's any more proof you needed that Joe is best boy, like... <laughs> All right, Lane, god. Lane, Lane, mm -hmm. you had your moment. <laughs> oh, Now okay. it's time for me to talk about why this is the greatest episode <laughs> of Super Sentai in recent years. Just real quick. Up until this episode, I didn't fully... I wasn't fully on board, like, I didn't fully feel the, like, why Lane had fully latched onto this character, but this episode, I think, perfectly puts it out there on Joe's yeah. character. Big time. Yeah. Yeah. Gar, say what you were gonna say. So, uh, so I watched this episode earlier today, and I'm thinking, okay, it's gonna be your run-the-mill Super Sentai episode. The way that everything <laughs> flowed together, though... So good. Like from the writing, the acting, the cinematography, the fights, the, just Bondo the showing muscles. up. <laughs> oh, no, oh, Yasunobu showed up. Yeah, that's him right there. He Wait, was white the, or red? Uh, the white one. That's Bondo from Blazar. <laughs> oh my god, Bondo, and I'm like, I don't know who you're talking about. Why does he look scrawnier? The other guy's just jacked. Oh, oh, also, also the fact that this episode. What? Made a toilet monster threatening. How did they? How the fuck? How the fuck did they make a toilet-themed monster one of the coolest monster of the week suits I've seen in so long? Yeah. How did they do it? Suit wise, not not just suit wise, power wise as well. It just like, no, that's actually a brilliant idea. It's going to flush away your facades and reveal your secret truths. He was gonna skibbity on us. Oh my god, no! thank you, Blue. Skibbity toilet. <laughs> so, so, toilet groom. I love that it has tassels made of fucking toilet paper. That was such yeah. a cool design. I'm the only one I was thinking of this guy. <laughs> no, 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 it's underpants. Super toilet. I, you know what I was thinking? I'm like, I'm like, watch that be from Captain Underpants. Yeah, that tracks. Turbo toilet or something? Uh, yeah. <laughs> What the right, fuck? Right, right. It's an Ultra Galaxy chat thing. The Ultra? <laughs> like, I, I, I think that's exactly what they were going for. It's like, okay, how can we make a toilet the coolest thing you've ever seen? And they did it! <laughs> and like you're saying, Art, like, it's legit powerful. It's got, like, a like an interesting power set, too. I, we'll get to it towards the end, but I, I genuinely love, like, some of the, like, the beats they use with the monster. It's yeah. very entertaining. The whole so... episode was very entertaining. So, 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 oh, oh go ahead, so, oh, Okay, you, you know, is it alright if I take the wheel on this episode? Uh, the wheel sure, but I, I will, I do want to, like, say say some things, though, because, like, again, as I said last week, Joe's my favorite character in Sentai. Oh, period, yeah, so. So, so we get what I thought was going to be the B-plot to, to the episode with the, with, uh... Mad Rex? She, she, yeah, no, with uh, the Blue Ranger oh, being like, I don't, I don't, yeah, I don't trust this June guy. Well, what do you mean? He's one of us. No. Or Joe. I don't know why I said June. Duh. I don't trust this Joe guy. That's why? He's one of us. Yeah, but he could be evil. <laughs> and then we it get this. We get this fucking screenshot of him that I was not expecting, and I immediately was like, we need a fucking emoji of this in the Discord, and just, they were on it immediately. Midas made a really good edit with, like, the, the, the JoJo text on it. It was like, like, look at this shit. It's so fucking good. <laughs> I could be your angle or your devil. And that was pretty, like, like that was just pretty fucking funny, honestly. Oh, like, it's I'm... so fucking funny, dude. They said, okay, whatever, the, whatever Joe's actor's name is, they said 
said, okay, be the exact opposite of what this character is for a second. <laughs> yeah, the guy's a smile. <laughs> also, it. someone pointed out that his, uh, his, his fellow officer... Asada. Has been has been a police officer or some sort of security guard throughout the last few years. All right, awesome. <laughs> he was a cop in Lupin Pato. That's him in Zenkaiger, Don Brothers. He was one of the Shugadem knights in King Oger. Oh wow. He was an uh, officer, in police Geats, officer in Geats. Double Zero One and Revice. Wow. Okay. Oh, and Revice, he was a member of Phoenix. <laughs> He's the uh Stan Lee of uh this, this <laughs> Yeah. Cool. So it's like, okay, that's going to be the B plot. So what's the A plot? No. That was the A plot. The B yeah. plot involves uh, uh, yeah. involves yeah, yeah, the captain showing up. Captain Mad Rex. The fucking B plot of this episode was introducing the most badass monster general the Sentai franchise has had for, again, a long time. <laughs> I, yeah, I really cool. liked him. It was cool. And he's voiced by fucking Ryu Commander. <laughs> I loved his voice. Yeah, his I suit know was really cool. His weapon was cool. I loved his head engine charging up. I, I, loved, <laughs> I loved his intimidation with the others because they're like, right, he's our boss. So, Cell, so, Mad Rex's VA, that's yeah. Trafalgar Law from One Piece and Levi oh. from Attack on Titan. Oh, okay. Yeah. And yeah. also, as Cell pointed out, a gigantic walking Mad Max reference. <laughs> Not only from his name, Mad Rex, but also the fact that he has a dog attached to his leg <laughs> that's also, not like... also voiced by the same va <laughs> wait really i can't like see one that has a parrot <laughs> no, no 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 i'm just saying the dog on like his oh, it's also voiced the... by him <laughs> the dog it's just the fact that again he has the, he has the outfit he's got like the, the look with the like the, the cars the name itself and it's like you know Max had a dog at one point, but also, if you know Mad Max lore, he's got a bad left leg. <laughs> so, like, that <laughs> that felt pretty on the... Like, <laughs> yeah. It felt pretty on the tail to nose. Oh. Uh, yeah, but yeah, I just want to talk about this, like, last quick thing. So, yeah, so they're, like, they're following Joe around, and, like, you know, everyone everyone asks him for help and stuff. It's so great. And, like, they see him, like, pick up a coin, and Shashiro's just like, he's like, yeah, he's going to take that money. I'm like, okay, that's that's nothing bad with taking picking up money from the ground and keeping it. But then Joe reports it to the police station and it's like wow even on your day off you're still like doing your duty he's like yeah okay well let's go in and file this report and i'm let's just go like fill out this, let's go fill out a form for this missing <laughs> loony and, and you can kind of so tell you, you can kind of tell to the uh his partner was like because <laughs> like, yeah yeah i feel like this, this is an ongoing problem and yes. they resent him for it it, it, it genuinely like, this maybe this was even a reference. Like early Pokemon, there was an episode where like they went to a fair, Team Rocket, and they found a coin, and Officer Jenny was like, "Oh, we have to fill out a report, even uh, for something like this." <laughs> I just he's so fucking pure, and you know, just I love him. He's such a good boy. Also, they <laughs> added Boon Black to the opening this week. Yeah, that was cool. yes. Yep. That's a good salute. I, I'm I was, so happy. I thought they were gonna wait for. Uh, Orange. Orange, which is next week. Yeah. Uh, so probably by episode eight, we'll have all five of them in the opening. Yeah. Which is oh, yeah. weird that you think they would do the same with the ending, but no, the ending just they're the already all there in the ending. Just and the opening sort of already spoils that there's going to be a black and orange ranger. Yeah, I, I said this forever oh, a couple weeks ago, but like if they were trying to hide black and orange, they were doing a bad job of it. But <laughs> clearly they aren't. Yeah, whatever. And they're okay, the Spare Rangers. I don't mind. Ran out of stock footage. Please. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah so... So, so the toilet, so the toilet monster's ability is he like sprays toilet water on you, and then it makes you like express your true feelings because you're clean. It's yeah, clean it, water. It, it took me a minute to understand the logic behind that, and but then he said. Like I'm here to flush away your facades and reveal your truth. It's it. Well, that's and thank God it's clean water. That's what I was to say. Um, <laughs> what this is called is cope for the uh, for the writer's fetish of the week. Like, I mean that's <laughs> also true. <laughs> it's, but, but yeah, so like, you, well, you had the people the that uh, Joe were hanging out with, just like like my food's better, no mine's better. My abs are more ripped. My biceps are more ripped. Also, also can we talk about this for a second? Like. 
So those two chefs who were like, one made him tempura, one made him, what was it, croquette? Croquette? Cro- yeah. Uh, like, they start fighting, and the croquette uh, chef, he fucking belts the, the, the tempura, like, and it looked like a real slap. Like, holy fuck. Like, you don't see that. <laughs> That's a little much for fucking Sentai. Yeah, like, it, it was like a full-on, like, like, almost, we, like, we legit just watched an old lady get bitch slapped. Right. <laughs> I fucking love that Shashiro, like, he sees, like, what the monster's effect is, and he goes, oh, I can, this is perfect, I can joke and get hit with it, and then we'll see what his true feelings So, I love that fucking Joe is willing to fucking get toilet water fucking thrown, shot on him, just to protect the Boomboogers. <laughs> and unsurprising <laughs> to literally everyone, it doesn't change him at all. Turns out he's no. genuine. He actually yeah. is the goodest boy. I was I was really expecting him to say like, "Man, I don't take care of myself that much." But like, like he just starts <laughs> just, hurting himself. Just get some real self-deprecating shit. I laugh at yeah. stupid jokes. Oh, I loved the <laughs> shot of him getting plunged on the head. Yeah. Oh yeah. And yeah, we I got his plunger accessory. We got his full sequence roll call. Joe, are you aware you have a plunger on your head? No. <laughs> yeah, his his, his roll call pose is a roll call pose is a bit like okay. It's like it's very simple, but I do like when like they do like the the like the boom boom chair that he like goes in for like a proper salute. So I was like, yeah, Yay. of course that's what it is. It fits it fits in well too. Like yeah, cool very well. So so um, I guess just to sort of derail or do a U turn to the uh, B side plot actually. Uh, we have Taya fight because, like, the B plot's very short in terms of what actually happens. Yeah. Um. So Taya is sharing inter- information with uh, what is it? USA. ISA. Uh, USA. I- I- <laughs> but it's the USA. It's <laughs> called treason, Taya. Yeah. In which, like, they're sharing information. It's like there. Now we know when aliens showing up. Oh shit! Oh shit! There's one right now. That was pretty fucking hilarious. <laughs> 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 that the, the comedic timing on that was really good. Yeah, and it's like, so like, he bumps into the toilet monster first with Mad Rex, and Mad Rex is like, this is the guy? This is the guy that you've been having tr- <laughs> Yeah, right, come on. Bring it. This is one of those fucking tire ninjans. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually liked and, uh, this little, like, B-plot, sorry, Gar, like, I actually like yeah. this idea for the B-plot being, like, the Red Ranger meeting, like, the first- The new general. The first genuine threat, too. Yeah. Right? And, like- as we see later, it's like maybe there's gonna be like a bit more of a relationship between these two specifically. Yeah, it absolutely feels yes. like we're gonna have an ongoing rivalry uh, between uh, Red and Madrex. Uh, I want this tradition to come back. Yes, of like the rival with the Red Ranger. Yeah, like, I, that, I, like, it's like the ninja, right? I love that Madrex was like, he's not like he's not cocky. What's your he's name? like, yeah, whatever. Yeah, he's like, you know what? I like you. You can actually hold a good fight against me. What's your name? What's your Sorry. name? And he's like. I love that he doesn't call himself Ty. He's like Boon Red. It's like we'll meet again, Boon. What's Red. that? You are we seeing Sentai show respect to their secret identities? What? What? Also, yeah, the frick, the orange dude throwing them the freaking sewer grate. Oh yeah, no, finding out that the Boom Boom Changer apparently has like a magnet on what it. What the <laughs> absolute fuck was with him and magnetically <laughs> attaching the sewer lid to his changer like a fucking shield? I think it was pretty funny. It was funny, awesome, badass, but also bewildering at the same time. <laughs> it was also hilarious. Remember, 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 remember that chicken fucking Zeo like yes, yes, fucking super late. Yep, <laughs> those things are heavy. Yeah, pick that shit up, man. Also, I also really, the, wi- sorry, the wire ahead. work in that fight. Yes, I was literally about to say like some really good yeah. fight. Oh yeah, really good, well choreographed fight. Oh, d- d- the like, part the, where like, he like, he's about. To, oh, I'll let you go. The part where he, like, used, uh, the picture was in the chat, but where he, like, used the tires to create, like, like, basically Tony Stark Like flight. a hover engine? Yeah. That was yeah. cool. That's very cool. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, you guys know how there's that, you know how there's that Ted show out right now? And one of the yeah. famous gifts from it is, like, Ted screaming. He's like, oh, oh, no one's around. Oh, don't worry, this is for me. <laughs> That was me in the break room today watching this episode. <laughs> you know, uh, just who else? losing my shit over it. You know who, uh, who Mad Rex also just sort of remind me of? Kind of, they have kind of a similar look, but uh, fun fact: guy. the chick that played another Kiva later became a fucking ambassador oh, for yeah. Man covers. No fucking way. What? <laughs> what? That's amazing. 
Wow. <laughs> That's one hell of a her. one hell of a career springboard. Uh okay, so you, just one thing. Can that, can we can we please just have Shashiro be like true feelings Shashiro for the rest of the series because I fucking loved him like this. I am so, so I am so fucking upset that we didn't get to see him out of helmet that entire time he was like in yeah. truth mode. Yeah, because he also gets yeah. sprayed and like go ahead. Girl. Oh, I was just gonna say that's another thing I love about this episode. The suit actors are on their fucking S game. Not that, A game, S game. Yeah, that like shot S that Blue posed, that shot that they're posing screenshots of now where Blue just like <laughs> grabs him and then warms his way to the ground. <laughs> yeah, actually. <laughs> a lot of pink just like, well, this is happening. Planking almost. <laughs> yeah, no, John Hero just goes up to Joe and he's just like, oh my God, you're just, you're so wholesome and nice and everything. I'm, I'm so fucking sorry. sorry. <laughs> just I didn't mean it. How could I have doubted you? Because you had a bad day. <laughs> and, Joe, and Joe literally just being the best boy just goes, oh, it's okay, man. No worries about it. And I, I'm like, yeah! I genuinely <laughs> didn't even fucking notice Pink just... <laughs> just <laughs> dumbfounded. Got, that does have, that, so it does have potential. <laughs> <laughs> I love this show so fucking much. That, that has that has Logan vibes of like you know Gene and Scott in the background hugging <laughs> Logan. <laughs> Logan off to the side. Yeah. How how we are only six episodes into this series and it's already so fucking goaded? Like I don't understand. By the way, speaking of this show, understands. Be entertaining. Be great. Yeah. yeah. By the way, just a quick aside. Speaking of Logan. Holy fucking shit, this week's episode of X-Men 97. Holy fucking shit! That was, uh... Oh, Holy I fucking didn't, shit! I didn't, I didn't watch it, but I watched, like, a clip, and I was just like, oh, oh, oh. Oh, my God! Shit <laughs> <laughs> happens. Oh, no! Oh, no! <laughs> oh, no! Note to self, oh, oh, actually all, watch X-Men. All I'm gonna say, hab kein angst. And you'll know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta catch up on '97. I only watched the first. Yes, episode. you do. I need to watch X Men. <laughs> yeah, that too. I should probably watch the '90s cartoon before watching '97. I rewatched the last three episodes of X Men before starting '97, and I, I did watch all of X Men a couple years ago, so I'm pretty caught up. S small, small tangent for a second as well with that. I do think that is why X Men '97 is working. It's a sequel. It, it's Absolutely. just season eight. Yeah. Or what, whatever it would be. Yeah. Season six. See, yeah, six, it's just that. Yeah, they're not like mm. what are we rebooting? It's just in widescreen now. Anyway, <laughs> you know what I was thinking uh, with Blue? You, basically, what this was was a uh, Blue refining his faith in the police. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe all cops oh. aren't bastards. Oh. Well, that's the thing now. Like we we now know because he got like the toilet water on him that like his true self is like he loves he loves being a. <laughs> Nice. Like, that's great. He he loves being a boom boonger. He loves just like getting into all this action and stuff like that, and just like oh, like the the scene where like uh, they get like the Zords, or whatever, like they they're going on the Zords. He's just like, all right, Mary, you get to fucking drive. Fuck yeah! I'm so happy for you. You're a good driver. I want to see. Like, I really hope by like the end of the series, he's just like he's like this. He's just more open. <laughs> Also, we we, did, we should mention episode six, and we have Pink Ranger driving the big trailer Zord. Nice. That yes. is an accomplishment. Progress. That's awesome. That's great. I'm here. No, but like, you're, 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 I, like, sorry, Gar. But like, I think you're right. I think that's gonna be his whole arc. Like, what's Blue's name? Sorry, uh, Ishiro. Ishiro. I think that is gonna be him. His whole thing is him coming back to that, to being able to be open and trusting. Yeah. And not just, I'm an inspector. I mean, we knowing the way his character was at the beginning, we always knew his character arc was going to involve him opening up emotionally. But like, I didn't know it was going to be like this. <laughs> yeah, it was a toilet. Fucking great, I loved it. Took two once, you share, once you've shared toilet water with a man, with no secrets. <laughs> That's a bond. Yeah. Speaking That's of other fan cool. service, um, like so, those guys just flexing out at each other. The fucking muscle bros. <laughs> yeah, like, and then oh. it was like when I, when I saw, it's like, oh wait, we're adding water to the mix. Oh. Oh no! They went exactly. Right. Yeah, see, Speaking of things for the moms, oh, yeah, like literally, it's like, son, what are you watching? 
<laughs> Are you winning, son? It goes to the classroom the following week. Hi, uh, I wanted to talk to you about your kid. What's up? Well, he, he started putting cups in the in toilets, and he started throwing the water at people. <laughs> Can't he just wanted start everyone to the water at people. Tell the truth. <laughs> yeah. oh. you know, to go back to the whole Don Brothers thing um, of like, oh yeah, they started making origami and some of the kids started screaming. Oh, <laughs> some some poor person is gonna get like, wait, where'd I... you get this water from the toilet? It's truth serum. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I loved I loved the att you, the man. attention to detail. I don't know if anyone else knows, but like. When like Bubuja Robo Police like defeats him, you just see him like sit down on a building, but he's sitting oh. as if he's on the toilet. So it was in just the so thinker pose. Funny. He did that several yeah. times. Yeah. No, late. I don't. I, I don't think. Get I in the toilet, Shinji. <laughs> I don't think I left harder than when like at like after like the Megazord fight. He he just strikes that pose, blows up. Like that was. I left pretty fucking hard there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's so good. He's like he's like make sure you wipe. <laughs> Well, actually, yeah, there was, like, there was actually two, like, remember, kids, don't do this, yeah. like, things in this. Because it gets to, after they fight, it gets to, okay, we gotta make them grow, and Ichi, I'm glad you were right. I'm glad this has become, a like, a thing they're doing. Their battles in, like, the highway zone are a constant thing. That's great! And every week they handle it differently, and this week's was fucking funny. <laughs> but I, I, I loved the two things they did, where it was, like, safety tips for kids. One was... When Mundario was like, okay, time to go. Oh, wait. Turns off, Turn off the, the stove. Oven. Like, you make a point. And then, well, what happens while they're up there? So, while they're chasing Yarukar through the highway dimension, suddenly what comes up on the, the, the signs is like, oh, there's a rest stop off this way. And Yarukar goes, well, oh, suddenly I have to go to the bathroom. All right. Skate! And he skates off the, the exit to the left ramp, right off the edge of the highway because it was a trap. It was all a hologram. <laughs> But, but especially great. like when he says, "Oh, I, oh, washroom," it cuts back to uh, the other two, and they say, "When you gotta go, you gotta go." Like, <laughs> which is true, by the way. Don't hold it. Yeah. Also, <laughs> I, I, I just <laughs> have to even... point out that this image Decker just posted here. That's a, such a go hard image. That is a, a police themed form mech saluting after blowing up a toilet monster. <laughs> that is what has <laughs> happened in that picture. That tell, goes so hard. Lane, <laughs> tell me for. Tell me right now that that is not your current and forever wallpaper. <laughs> you know what? I'll make it my wallpaper right now. <laughs> That's what I thought. You, you yeah. could say the Megazord got shit done. <laughs> uh, no, but my, my favorite shit on that toilet. <laughs> my favorite thing that the toilet monster did was before it was blown up the first time. It just starts talking by using its actual head to manipulate its fucking head toilet crawl. <laughs> and not, not, the whole time, the thing on its head opening up like a mouth was, as Cell said while we we're watching, giving vibes of fucking typhus from Beetleborgs. <laughs> and then when he, at the end, when he uses his hand to talk with his toilet mouth, my brain went to fucking Jim Carrey in the, in the, the bloopers of Liar Liar. You must pay a terrible price. Uh, All right, there, there you, you go. That's that picture is my wallpaper. You, you, me <laughs> you mentioned typhus. If this was ever to be adapted, which never would at the current rate, <laughs> if this got adapted into Power Rangers, I could see the toilet monster straight up just talking like typhus. Yeah, just there you go. like. Hey, 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 Rangers! Looks like you're all clogged up. <laughs> It's terrible. <laughs> it's perfect. I, like, I did like his weapon was a plunger. I'm the toilet, mind you, baby. I'm gonna flush away your facades and reveal your secret shame. They should hire you. Right? <laughs> What'd you say, Lane? Sorry? Oh, I was just saying, like, I like his weapon was a plunger. Yeah. <laughs> yeah that I just love him constantly yeeting it at them and just getting stuck on their fucking heads. Uh, oh, yeah. Pulling, pulling Joe around was super funny. <laughs> just like, ah. Uh, but yeah, yeah, that's sort of like. Also, just again, how they write both these endings together, just weaving together, like for the ending. Well, that's just, that's true because. Oh, did you guys take care of it? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we handled it. That's what I was gonna say. This was a good way of like, okay, these guys can handle stuff without protagonists there with them. Yeah. I also love. This is completely has nothing to do with anything, but like during the Megazord fights, they pull out Boom Boom Robo, Boom Boom Robo Police. 
Rapid fire! Shoots their guns twice. <laughs> That's rapid fire for a single shot. Well, also, like, did, I, did, that, did, this, uh, did this one show up in the last episode, sorry? The robot? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but did he oh, do the yes. same thing with the guns? No, in yes. fact, he did more with the guns. Oh, do you mean the, 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 the twirling? The... Yeah. Yeah. yeah he did that last time as well? Him. Yeah. Okay, because yeah. I, I was like, like, yeah, that 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 is 100% Robocop. <laughs> like, I'll oh. twirl my gun and put it in my leg. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's I like, fantastic. I like when they did the the gun twirl and it's by the leg. You can tell it's like CGI, but when it cuts to the suit during during the explosion, oh no, that's real. Oh yeah. There's also like, I mean, this is in the opening too, but I really like the movement it does, like when it like takes them out, like across the arms, like with the guns. You know what I mean? Yeah. It, like mm -hmm. it looks cool. Yes, I, I also I did get Boom Boom to Robo in this week, and it it is a it is a solid toy. I really love yeah. it. It's great. You can even make so it with Dario. Unboxing. Yeah, I love it. Yeah, that. so uh, so we cut back to them back in the secret base, and we just get this moment where Ishiro is just like staggered by having revealed his feelings. <laughs> Meanwhile, Mira's like, oh, I'm a senpai. <laughs> I did it. Joe, <laughs> and then just Joe thinks that. Ishiro's name is Shashiro. Yeah. Have they? I don't think they've said Ishiro's real name before now, so this is like the official reveal. But yeah, so then Joe just goes, oh, okay, and Shiro san. And he just goes, no, you fucking idiot. I fucking hate you. <laughs> and I'm like, no, keep being you, please. You're adorable. Just pat his head. <laughs> I, I just like that Mad Rex has to listen to his dog like. <laughs> Yeah, for walkies. I have to take my leg for a walk. Which bye. Isn't the, which isn't that what we already do? <laughs> oh my God, hear me out. The the dog will turn into a giant monster. Absolutely, I, I could see that it becoming his car. No, it'll oh, be his yeah, like a dog car. Yo, Ooh. dog car. Dog car gets the dog bus. I want that. Or like he pulls a Woolzard and like summons it and then combines with it into his big, big, look big at these evil guys. Megazord. Cool. Look, look at these tired humans. They look so good. No, no I, if, I get if, it. Sorry. I know what's gonna happen. Oh, what? you first. If Mad Rex literally becomes the fucking like dog one, like come on. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta watch. No. Uh, if he becomes a power master from Transformers. He already has the motor head. The dog becomes the shell. His head becomes the motor for the car. Oh. <laughs> the fucking disguise. Yeah. Fucking Next week's man. episode, we have Boon Boon running around outside in disguise. Quotation marks. What's gonna happen is he's gonna get in disguise. He's gonna get hit by a cab, and they're gonna say, "What was that? Looked like a big robot wearing a trench coat." <laughs> no, I kind of want Boon Boon, and I kind of want him to just come back here. I'm not finished with you. <laughs> no, like wow. liter literally, literally, it gives up. It gives up this fucking energy, like right here, shot for shot. Hang on, posting the picture. <laughs> just <laughs> <laughs> it does just behind the scenes and just wrap in his disguise. Oh, yeah. that, that was the reference Scar was making. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, I had that figure. I liked it. I'm it's fun. It's, it's, like, it's a great. It's a great update of that. Idea. But of course. Arguably more important for next week's episode is the debut of Boone Orange! We did it! I'm so excited to learn more about Genba. He seems like the most interesting character for me. Gem Gemba is very fucking cool. <laughs> I want to know where he got that uh, manhole cover. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, he's, does, he's a supplier. Does he gets he, stuff. Does he transform by booting the red button with his knee? Oh, uh, he does! It's me, okay. Sal! Okay, Zoo of the World. Yeah. <laughs> well, good thing. Good thing I like Joe's uh, transformation more, so now I won't have to bruise my knee trying to boot orange. <laughs> Again, Joe does it Mighty Morphin style. Yeah. I guess. I guess Genba it. does Zoo of the World. <laughs> nice. So Another character I very much liked and had a very interesting story throughout the show. So now this makes me extra oh, hopeful. Said. Oh, I wanted to bring this up. Like, I, I don't think I don't think Jerry's here, but I just wanted to like give him credit for this because he made like a pretty interesting theory. He has a theory that Bundorio was also a Hashirian. 
I was gonna mention that as well, Ben. I like that idea. Oh yeah, no, that yeah, would be cool. It's a very sound theory. I kinda kinda hope that comes true. That'd be cool. Dario is the law, lost because case of there's Dario. obviously Ooh. there's obviously a lot of shit between like Boondario and, and Taya, like that we don't know, and I'm yeah. very excited to find out what their whole deal is. We don't know what their dream is. Have okay. any of the Sharians met Boondario yet? I don't think so. Maybe that, maybe this sense. next episode where he's out in public will lead to that. Because that could be it. Like, Mad Rex says something like, oh, it's you. Yeah, yeah. Look at Mad Rex, But here's the man. thing, though. Look at that dude. Holy the, shit. I love him. What we can say is the the two Hashilians, Deco Torade and Itasha, have definitely seen Bundorio because they've watched the Megazord fights happen. True, but... So maybe it's a case of those two specifically have never met him before. Maybe. They all have dumb. <laughs> They're also dumb. What, what, oh, what, what if? No, no, here's a crazy theory. Remember, Mad Rex is the captain, so mm-hmm. like he's a captain rank. There's gotta be someone above him, and then oh, yeah, one yeah, more, yeah. like Absolutely. Big Bad. What if Bundario is the son of the Big Bad? That's what that, so that's what I was saying. Like what the if long like, lost yeah. prince of the Empire or something? No, no, like he that... was coming here to invade, but loved the Earth. That could be interesting. So it's Dragon Ball. <laughs> I, you know what? I like to think maybe Bundario lost his memory. Yeah, like Iron so it's Giant Dragon style. Ball. I was gonna say Iron Giant no, style. No, 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 yeah. no, no, no. Steven Universe. <laughs> oh, that too. Or Torin from just, Torin from Curiouser. Yeah, Torin I just came to Earth, realized he loved it. I just love this shot of. I just love this <laughs> shot of Mad Rex. Look at all these fucking lapels. Right. I like that his ascot is the uh, checkerboard. Uh, yeah, flag. Like, checker flag. Yeah. Like Voiced by Michael Keaton. <laughs> Several <shoulder>. Michael Keatons. <laughs> All right. Very, very excellent episode. Boon Boonger is uh, proceeding apace, and I'm excited to see where we go. Boon, so goaded, and I love it. S rank episode of Super Sentai. Oh, uh, yeah. It's definitely up there. Like, episode five still, like, my favorite, but this episode was phenomenal. <laughs> no, episode five had good, had, like, a good character driven episode. This was just a good episode as a whole. It had mm. good direction, good writing, good action, and comedy. the new designs. Like, yeah, good quality. It just said comedy, but also that. Oh, comedy. Well, comedy is in the writing. It just. It's what I love about this franchise. It's what I love about Tokusatsu. How you can bring all these elements together while still using these things. And it, and it's it's great that all this is happening, considering how as we as I've said before, how Boon Boonger conceptually is back to, is like a return to form, back to basics kind of Sentai <laughs> compared to the years and years of experimentation we've had for the last little while. Because they realize experimentation is not working. <laughs> I mean, I would say it's King Oja work, but King Oja awesome. King Oja was very boring week to week. I'll, I'll admit to that. That is a hot take that you are having. <laughs> but I respect your opinion. No, I love it. Like, Gar was like, oh, this is like one of the best Sentai episodes in like recent years. And I'm just like, I think Ichi would disagree with you with, with the whole Raculis turning against Dog Dead episode. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a good discussion in and of itself, honestly. Anyways. Boon Boonger or Boom Boonger? Which is the better team? <laughs> oh, on a related note. Now, in our Discord server, we actually finally got the formal poll function. So now, we, we, a, week, we a couple weeks ago, on suggestion from uh, our regulars, we created a channel specifically for people to ask each other questions in the server. And now we have the actual formal poll function. So, have at it! Yeah, so I made a, I made a, I made a poll... Because like people are like uh, spelling like Boone Black as like B O O N Black, but I was like I was like no, we got to make a vote of like what to properly say B U N or B O O N. It should be B-U-N-1. it should be B O O N because that's yeah. the name of the Sentai Boone Boomger, but the mm-hmm. roll calls say B U N. But let's also remember that these are the same people who gave us Gord Drive. Incomplete. Gord Drive. <laughs> you also gotta keep in mind this is the same company that has Go Rangers International, like international translation be Go Ranger. Yeah, Go Ranger. Yeah. Interesting. So we Where can't like always take Korean everything Ranger. at. We can't always, excuse me, take everything at face value. So or how there's technically two different spellings of Kira Major. Oh, I hate that so much. 
Heracles. <laughs> oh, so, don't so get me started on fucking Hercules. Romulus Hasty. So on that debate of Boon versus Boon, the answer that I come to is officially it is B U N, but it fucking should be B O O N. I agree, but because I have so much love and respect for the show, I'm gonna use B U N. Uh, so. Seven is asking Juru or Jewel. The answer to that one is his name actually is Juru, but it's very clearly based on the word Jewel. So we just call him Jewel because that's what his yeah, name is based I, I, on. I really like calling him Jewel. <laughs> there are differences of the language. That's what this really is. <laughs> Give him a Jewel pod. Romanization is a bitch. <laughs> Give him a Jewel case. Yeah. All right. Shall we move on? We shall. Giant robots? To, to where? New Jersey? Yeah. Feature topic time. Nice. Well, this certainly was a show that happened. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. So this aired in 2004, oh, and it shows. Oh, yeah. In many ways. Um, so, I guess, uh, like, did anyone watch this show? I, I watch scattered episodes of it I whenever I happen to catch them on TV. I never, like, yeah. sat down and watched the whole show. Gar? I remember, uh, I remember seeing, like, clips of it when it was on TV, but I thought it was just sort of like a Transformer knockoff, in a sense, because I was like, <laughs> okay, giant robot, whatever. No. Car? Uh. Okay, because... I actually did watch this when I was a kid. Like I loved this show when I yeah. was younger. It was it was short. It's shorter than I thought. It's only two seasons. Oh wow! I'm yeah. surprised it got a second season, <laughs> right? And uh, I just loved the idea of it so much. Like, like to me, just the idea of like being able to uh, pilot a giant mech with a stick shift. <laughs> that's just with a steering wheel with a PlayStation controller attached to it, a stick shift, and an array of alien robot buttons. I I'm in. <laughs> right. To the point where I'm gonna, uh, Why is that not already a VR game? <laughs> and yeah, just like... Go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say, and you got like a future girl, you got Clancy Brown voicing your villain, like... Oh my god. Go what more do you need out of life? I'm pretty sure Steve yeah. Bloom is voicing Jamie? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. that is Steve Bloom voicing Jamie. You have Wendy weird, Lee but... voicing Kiva of TK and Black Rose fame. And, and who voices our lead Coop? Oh, I forget. I know Gar mentioned it. Uh, David Deluise. David Deluise. Yeah. Dom Deluise's Dom Deluise's son. son. <laughs> uh, yeah, and, and the dad in Wizards of Waverly. Yeah, he was the, yeah, he was really funny in the Wizards of Waverly place. The dad in Wizards of Waverly place. I also knew him though from uh he voiced uh one of the one of the Marines in uh Roughneck Chronicles. Okay. Oh, Roughnecks. very cool. Yeah. The one who uh, oh, spoilers nice. for an old show, the one who uh, who got paralyzed. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and and let's get this out of the way. The female main character's name is Kiva, which of course <laughs> reminds me of Common Rider Kiva, because she's also red. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's also four years before Kiva. <laughs> and that show kind of has time travel in it. Name? I have literally <laughs> never heard the name Kiva outside of these two characters. Not dude, once. One of our no, friends on dude, Facebook dude. goes by the name Kiva. <laughs> dude, I literally. I thought that was a nickname. It is. I went to the pet shop right. today, and someone had a cat named Kiva. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, and I'm like, where did that come from? It's like, oh, it's a common name. Oh, <laughs> oh, that doesn't answer my question. A common name? <laughs> a it's common like, rider name? <laughs> oh, it's not a common name. It is a common name. Okay. Read a fucking book for fun. No, so never. I, I was I was saying I was talking about this like before we started recording. Um, just like my thoughts, on mega mega sex LR. It like so as a fully grown like mid thirties man at this point, it is a very cool, funny fucking show, and the concept is great. But like as a kid, I had like I guess I made like standards for myself for like a lot of the shit I watched. I so had standards I, I when I was a teenager. What, I understood what the show was getting at and was going for, but I was just like, ah, oh, the the head of this robot's a car. That's kind of stupid. And then I just <laughs> didn't watch it really all the time. It oh, is I, stupid, I, and that's the no, point. 
It's yeah. a parody of Tokusatsu. This is a big oh, parody actually, of it's like a parody of mecha anime. That too. Yeah, yeah like it's got mecha anime. Mostly that. Mostly that. Yes. But like, but that's mm. precisely like, like I can understand why because like for some people that yeah I can see that being like a turn off like oh it's a car like Isaiah is a person who I'm not really a car guy but like that to me is the best aspect it's like because this is the way I've always put it I think I could actually pilot this thing. <laughs> I can't pilot a mech. I don't know how to. The, I know how to. I know how to do stick shift. Yeah. I know so, how to video yeah. game console works. Oh so, yeah. As like a as like a fourteen fifteen year old like back in two thousand four, I was like, oh, it's stupid. But now it's like a thirty four year old man. I'm just like, oh no, I, I know what this show's fucking getting at. It's fucking badass. And I, <laughs> I think it cool. also works because like Coop in particular, like I, I like how like he's like that the lovable like gearhead type thing yeah like it's fun like he's he's in this because he likes things that go room yeah it, it, also, it's crazy it's crazy to think he's supposed to be a teenager is he, is he? I, thought yeah. he was, I thought he was supposed to be well, at least early 20s that's no, the vibe no, i got according to the description of the show him and jamie are like mid teenagers do they ever like, go to 16, school 17 i don't know i don't know I mean, about school but apparently they're Canonically teenagers. Well, he has to be at least 16 if he can drive a car. No, that's fucking no. crazy! No, but you know what's also crazy? Is that Coop, Coop has no fucking appreciation for human life because, None. oh my god. <laughs> no, no, there was literally he like uses the robot he uses his technique in the the first episode, he blows up the fucking city! Yep. <laughs> Everyone's dead! Everyone! Said, Lane, it was Sunday. <laughs> Those buildings are empty. <laughs> it's okay. Yeah. It's okay though. We saved the Wick Donalds. <laughs> we won't, and like we'll but, get to it when we get to it. But the end of episode fucking twelve. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> and and I think that's why as a kid I love this show so much because it it, it leans into that like the wanton destruction. Like it's it, having a, a lot of it's like, accidental. <laughs> a, literally, the first thing he does when he when we reveal the robot is he he destroys his own house. Yeah, <laughs> that's the first thing he does. <laughs> he just blows up a school. Like, well, like, what's the like? Should we talk about the setup to what this is? Like, yeah. So the 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 first part of this episode is uh, in the year thirty thirty seven, which I thought was funny because it actually said first in the future. Yeah, and then like two minutes later, it's like it just tells us what year they it show it on her like time machine yeah. display. Yeah. So Kiva's yeah. chased through space with her like remnants of the Earth forces, and they're Very being Gundam. they're being Very they're Gundam. being attacked by the evil aliens, the Glorfts. Which that's a great name, <laughs> the Glorf. I like I like that they call I like that they call like humans Earthers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that and was cute. Like, that's a cute. They call thing. us like they call them like primates at one point too or something. Kiva calls like Coop ape an ape at some point. It, yeah, which uh, also like, like because this is an early aughts uh, television program, the villain is voiced by Clancy Brown, and yeah. he's doing an excellent job. <laughs> War Master oh. Gorath, <laughs> which that's a great name too. Yeah, he's got he's like this Cthulhu ass alien motherfucker with like a like a mechanical robot body, and I was like, that's cool. The whole well, race. Two thousand four. He was still doing Lex Luthor, was he not? No, like no, 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 no. Yeah, 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 probably in Justice League. Yeah. The yeah. whole fucking glorfed race is a bunch of Cthulhu faced creatures in living mech mini mech suits. And I always love that. I always love their design. I also like I liked how like you could tell like like because he's the leader, he's basically just a head. The rest of him is a suit. Yeah. Right? Though everyone else has like augmentations mm -hmm. and stuff. I also thought of, now that because like something I noticed like is that the animation wasn't as good as I remembered it. Oh yeah. And then, to be yeah. fair, this is the first couple episodes, so whatever. But like I now realize that they probably made the rest of the the glorf to have no mouths because it would be easier to like, yeah. animate. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you you can tell that this was definitely like like the creators were making like a budgeted cartoon, but trying so hard to make it as much of an anime as possible. Yeah, it, I think again, it's their, big, to their biggest, their biggest inspiration was the old school super robot shows. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, like, like they, awesome. they love to play video games, so they thought of the idea. What if I could pilot one of those with a video game controller? A car. <laughs> it's called Zone of the Enders. <laughs> it's called Mech Warrior. That's a good game. That's yeah. good games on the Enders. I played Mech Warrior when I was a kid. I, I also legit like the uh, the lore of this idea that like because the mega suit, which originally is just like a giant robot, it looks like a Gundam. 
I like the idea that it's actually glorfed. Yeah, right? it apparently originally belonged to the glorfs, and then the Earth forces of the future stole it from them and modified it. Yeah. And then it falls into uh, Coop's hands, and he modifies it again. Yeah, and it becomes yeah. the greatest thing ever. <laughs> so, like, I guess I never... You didn't pay. I guess... I guess I never watched the first episode of this series, uh, so I remember just like always seeing Koops's like version of the of like the the robot, and I was just like, I was like, man, I really want to see like what the original head was on this thing. And then like, <laughs> years later, when I finally you know had the the sense and ability to go, oh, I could just like search for it on the internet, and then I did. And I was like, oh, that's what it looks like. Cool. It, it's looking at breasts. <laughs> it does look like Soundwave. <laughs> Complete with the ability to dock its face with another robot's face. That's how robots kiss. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> there we go. So there's there's before and then above is the after. Do we ever so. see what it looked like before Kiva's forces modified it? I was thinking that I don't know. I would like to see because obviously like this the original is, original Megas. Because like, it would have been I green. Think, probably. Yeah, it's it, probably it, green. It, I mean it's it is only twenty six episodes. It's easy to just Probably binge watch it. Binge it in a day. <laughs> I may do that. No, days, no, make 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 it a weekend. That's a weekend one project. Day, one day for season one. One day for season two. I will say I did love how Coop like reveals because like I, at first I thought like this this thing like this like I get it, it's a twenty minute episode so like there's only so much you can cram into twenty minutes so I thought like the pacing was a little bit like off. This show but in like general that, like, is an absolute exercise in pacing. Yes. <laughs> yeah. But like, so Jamie comes over and he, he's just like, he's like, oh, he Coop's like, yeah, look at look what I did, and he's just like, he's like, okay, it's just you, you, this is what you spent all this time doing was a car, and then he just fucking activates the button and just like, boom, it destroys it. I'm just like, holy blows shit. up his own garage <laughs> because like what he was. Because what Kiva's whole plan was, okay, I'm going to take it back in time to the beginning of the war when it could have made a difference. And use it to win the battle we lost. But the, the, the Glorf, like, fuck it all up and just, you know, like, time portal shenanigans and everyone yeah. goes through. Timey-wimey shenanigans. But, Lane, you're absolutely right. Like, what a great reveal. And again, I think just a perfect tone setter for the... It's like, don't, don't worry, we're not killing anyone, but we're breaking everything. It's so interesting that they chose to do... It this way instead of like showing what happened in quote unquote chronological order where like we the first time we see Coop is before he gets Megas because it's so interesting that they chose to show it the first time we see him he's got it and it's done and then he just says well, where'd you get this well it was at the junkyard and I, I love like him and uh, like a, he's a great uh, side character goat goat the, the owner of the junkyard I love that dude their 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 conversation is who would win in a fight Bigfoot or the Loch Ness monster. <laughs> And, like, the newspaper he's reading is that, like, they're both running for president, which, in this world, would make sense. And I just love the whole idea of him, like, like again, like, Coop is a, is a gearhead. He likes, like, just going through things and, like, you know, finding cool shit. Like, he's going through the junkyard. How much for this? It's, like, just a carburetor or something. Mm. Two, bucks. Two bucks. How much for this? Two bucks. It's a muffler. Two bucks. How much for this? It's a fucking hazardous waste. Two dollars. <laughs> Everything in that pile, two dollars. Pull something. Everything comes down. Reveals the robot. Oh, turns out... <laughs> And I'll yeah, take it. And like you said, Ichi, he doesn't even pay him the two bucks. Yeah, we see you get a scene of him later screaming, Where's my two bucks? <laughs> and then what we get is the start of, I guess, this a recurring thing every single episode where, like, Jamie just, he has a very, very, very fucked up mind in his head. Like, so yeah. he's, Jamie. Like, he's like, Coop. Do you know what we could fucking do with this robot? And he just thinks about like fucking ruling the earth with it. <laughs> Jamie oh, is Steve Bloom. Jamie is single handedly the reason why this show did not age entirely well. Oh yeah, <laughs> Jamie no, is a problem. Yeah. There's a especially in the second episode. Um, or sorry, the next episode. But I genuinely love though, like when you because you're right. The three. What what are the three things he would do with that power? One, rob places, Fort Knox. Two, Not enslave the earth. Three, chase women. <laughs> <laughs> but he, he's not our hero though because what would Coop do with that uh, smash uh, the hamburger plant that yeah, says please do not smash wh which okay a little <laughs> bad but then he wants to just enjoy a wrestling match and he's chasing ice cream trucks nothing wrong with that that's what you're supposed to do <laughs> I love the juxtaposition of like the exact same clip of chasing two different things Coop, Coop is that's a, a good bit in any cartoon Coop is a good uh, example of the, the, the clueless hero I, and, I really respect 
I really respect Coop's um, a massive love for hamburgers. Same, bro. Like I want I wanted a hamburger after watching that scene. I might go get one. I feel, like Coop, I feel like I feel like Coop would be a really fun dude to just like hang out with him for a weekend. Eat hamburgers and play video games. That That's good. basically my life. Go around in his giant yeah. robot car. <laughs> yeah, come on. But like, despite how much of a bumbling idiot Coop's or Coop both is and is presented to be throughout most of the show, you also have to realize that. He, by himself, modified a fucking robot from the future to be compatible with an Earth modern age car. He is a technical genius. He's just not an actual one. Yeah. Like, because, like, I get, like, I love the idea that he, everything in that car now, he did, right? He forgot most of it. Yeah. He was like, wait a minute. (laughs) He hooked up every system that robot has to his fucking steering wheel and PlayStation controller. And and he knows how to use none of it. I I guess I'll I'll say this now. Like, legitimately, Megas XLR, Coop's Megas XLR, if I could pilot any mecha, that's it. Yeah. Like I said, one, I feel like I could actually control it. But two, something I just love about the show in general, but especially Megas itself, it's so cartoony. Yeah. Like, it just, it's pulling random powers out of nothing, and I love that. I like, there's always new buttons in the in the vehicle, you know? Like, oh, okay, good. I was kind of hoping. So, it looks like they made, they made one toy. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, dear. There is a, there is a toy of Megas, so. <laughs> that and like, goes for, like, a thousand dollars. Oh, of Jesus. Of course it does, it's probably, like, very exclusive. Well, well yeah, well, that, funny enough, the, the co-creator was just talking about Megas XLR on Twitter before we started recording. Nice. And mentioned how this is the, like, this and, like, one other thing was the only, like, toy thing that Megas had, which led, unfortunately, with the show not having an actual toy line... Sad. Canceled. You know, a yeah. cancellation. Yeah. Uh, it's weird, because no, they have so much stuff in this that feels like they would This make feels it. like prime toy sales. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, Decker brought up a screenshot. The original pilot for the show was called Lowbrow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I wanted to bring up Coop's VA, which I didn't realize until I looked it up before recording, uh, is David DeLuise. Yep. Talk about this. You mentioned you. Yeah. Sorry, I was away having to deal with a cat thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, we were talking. He's, he's, he's really good in the show as well. Like, he brings oh, yeah. up, like, like I, I love his, uh, like, his comedic timing. There's this great bit where, like, Kiva, after, like, I love when Coop, he's just like, well, what's this button? And it's just, like, it's literally an alarm system. Yeah. And so that get, that gets Kiva's attention. She comes with her drones, like, literally does that rip, rip with the, the like car key alarm. And she's giving this whole speech about the Glorf, and, like, no, and that was the final up. And it always cuts back to him going, what? huh? <laughs> and so, yeah, David <laughs> Elvis is really funny in this. Like, yeah. And uh, about what we were saying earlier about this, how this show is so cartoony with regards to Megas... Usually when when things in shows like this pull powers out of nowhere, I get angry and yell at it. Megas XLR could pull literally fucking anything out of its arsenal, and I have no que- no room to question any of it. Exactly. Oh, Every yeah. time I pull out a new weapon or a new beam or a new attack, I'm just like, yeah, that tracks. It, it, it's perfect. That feels like a thing it can do. I think Duplex, why not? Bit in the first, oh, I think my favorite bit in the first episode is just like, How'd you learn to uh, to fight uh, so well? It cuts to Coop playing video games on his couch. He's Time lapse. I love that. Shows up. Yeah, that, like, that was cute. Dude, she's stealing your robot. <laughs> <laughs> like he, like While he was flashbacking. <laughs> It's just he was doing that in real time. <laughs> it, was, it was funny too, seeing like Kiva trying to operate it, and she just can't fucking understand. She's like, "What the fuck? I can't do this." Yeah, like, like what did you do? Like, yeah. And I, I actually kind of love that trope in in fiction when like downgrading something technically <laughs> makes it better because like, yeah. because it's like you makes know future people are, like relatable. cannot put their heads around it. Yeah, but it's like so normal to it was us. This primitive PlayStation controller. <laughs> I want the PlayStation 6 controller. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, I, yeah, so, like, the whole thing is, like, he, like they actually make a point of that, too, because I actually, I never picked up on this when I was younger. I always assumed that those other robots were being piloted as well. Mm-hmm. No, they actually call them drones. Yeah. I, I mean, that's probably because, you know, like, kids show silly. The fact like, that they're drones and not living people means it's okay for the show to enact Horrible, senseless violence upon them. Wait until the next episode for that to go crank to a fucking twelve. Oh like, yeah, <laughs> said that right. Oh, so you're saying so you're saying Vegas he pulls a Gurren Lagan? Gotcha. <laughs> yep. 
And, uh, but yeah, so, like, he fights Kiva and, uh, like, before the whole flashback thing, he fights them in the drones. And, w w again, we are shown, like, oh, yeah, Coop isn't, an, he actually knows what he's doing. Like, a lot of it is he... Hit. Which really has to make you wonder, like, did he practice? No, it's like <laughs> he, he's playing it like a video game. Yeah, like, you see him hit a couple of buttons and then you watch Mega's fucking suplex one of them. Right? <laughs> he's played a lot of it. This robot's got combos! Well... And that's, again, like, something... It wouldn't... Uh, like, again, this is a very cartoony thing, because, like, this would be so if, if this If this same shit happened in a normal tokusatsu show, that, like, one we review, I'd be screaming at it. <laughs> but, like, I was gonna say, like... Like, it works for animation, though, because, like, every time they cut to him using, like, a new type of controller, it makes sense. It's like, yeah. okay, that's why he's doing this move now. That's why he's doing oh this move now. Oh, my God. I love I, when he's... Uh, scream. Yeah, so <laughs> scream. <laughs> I love when he's like backing up and like he's actually looking over his shoulder. There's like a beep, beep. Yeah, beep. yeah. Like, I love shit like that. But uh, so yeah, I just love like so Kiva's like in the robot trying to take it back and like trying to take it back to <laughs> another time, and she says, "Where's the time flux unit?" Hard cut to Coop smashing it into pieces. If, uh, I couldn't fix I it. it. <laughs> if I could sum up the entire show for anyone who hasn't seen it, that's it. Right there. Coop <laughs> mindlessly destroying something while people are cheering it up. Because Goat was in the background going, yeah! yeah! <laughs> Just mindlessly smashing the most important plot device in like, the entire show. Like, it, like, it's with, like, he's doing it with like a, like a lead pipe. Yeah. <laughs> So, what I what I really enjoyed was something that like paid off really great later was like Coop like accidentally like fires this fucking missile into the air and it like yep. misses and then later like the the bad guys robots like it's so weird it's like they combine into a bigger robot that combines into a bigger robot which combines the UMD. into an even bigger robot that, that, that's the joke that yep. like. Yeah, Combiners. Yeah, combining, combining to combine into something bigger. So the, the missile that he fired earlier, because like Kiva mentions, oh, this thing, like it's unbeatable. And it like, it destroyed this like satellite. And then From pop TV. And then, is... Yeah. And then the satellite hits the head of the giant fucking mech and just destroys it. That was <laughs> yeah, great. So, yeah. uh, the the okay. pop TV satellite is apparently a reference to how their, the creator's previous show MTV or not, MTV. Their previous show was on MTV and they canceled it hard. So this was well, the giant That's fuck you. so fucking petty and I love it! Because <laughs> the satellite, wow. it's pop TV, but like the way the letters are like situated, it looks it like looks, an M. Yeah, yeah. It's Which, clearly MTV. Turning the word pop into an M, that takes time. Like, yeah. <laughs> that takes a pettiness that I love. And I like, if you listen to what they're saying on the radio while they're showing the satellite, it's so fucking funny. It's like, next up on pop TV, rock stars remodeling your house! And then the fucking satellite drops. <laughs> that's, 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 that's the most cynical thing I've ever heard. I, I'm in. <laughs> Rock starts remodeling. Why doesn't MTV play music videos anymore? Hard cut to Brian Ferenzi's video. And, and that's something, too, I think, that also made me love this show as a kid. It's so funny. Oh, like, yeah. Because, th not, not that joke. There was another joke in this episode that has lived in my head since 2004. Because, like, after all the shenanigans between, like, Coop and Kiva, like, the, yeah, the Glorf show up, right? Yeah. And, um, like, there's an army of them. And, and and it's like, like Kiva does. Kiva says something like, like we we uh, we can't win like this or like the odds are too the odds are too stacked against us. And Kuko goes, you know what? It is unfair. And he just smashes the other drone. He smashes Kiva's robot. Yeah. Just bomb. So now it's one against an army. And now he's like, now it's fair. now it's fair. And not only is that hilarious, <laughs> that's badass. <laughs> that is. Yeah. I had to pause the episode because I was. Die. Like I said, that's been living in my head. Just that motion of him just walking the Oh my god, I'm fucking trembling just thinking about it. It's no, so it's fucking really funny. Good. That one yeah. moment is the best thing in the whole episode. Like I said, like a lot of funny shit in this. It's surprised. I'm genuinely surprised by how funny this show is even now. Yeah, I, mean, I might watch this all again, honestly. I mean, if you're into like... Super Robot Shows, Tokusatsu, and parodies of any of that sort of thing. This is not only a good one, but it might be one of the earliest. Yeah, no, this is this is good. Uh, this is good parody. Parody also that's really also. Care. Sorry. 
Oh, I was just gonna say it also has a really, really catchy theme song. Oh, oh we wait, haven't wait, talked wait. about the we, theme we, song. We should talk about the theme song. That, that shit is one of my favorites. That is the most hard going shit I've seen come out of Cartoon Network. That, when I was when like, I was I younger, I didn't. Yeah, I didn't watch the show when I was like a lot when I was younger, but I do remember the theme song always like stuck in my head. Yeah, no, dude, <laughs> so. that, that like I, that always got me excited just hearing that revving engine at the beginning. Like, oh. Mm-hmm. The, the, the lyrics are hilarious too like yeah. kicking it in jersey <laughs> finding moments from afar find first gear Giant. I dig Giant. also I think the first line is living here in jersey what did I say? kicking it here in jersey oh. <laughs> yeah it's a Mandela effect <laughs> Berenstain Bears <laughs> so yeah the, like it's great too because like before they all do the combiner we get just again we just get to see him like pull weapons out of his ass I love that he somehow does a Kamehameha of the eight ball. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's like, that was the paint. <laughs> there was a promo oh where Scooby God. Doo meets Megas. Mm-hmm. Oh, I know, fuck. This quickly. Yeah. I'm saving that for later. But, uh, yeah, it, it was great. Oh, we also want to talk about how, like, that it was a fun little combine. It turned into a big spider. So I was just thinking of, like, Death in a Rock. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> the main guy's mech turned into, like, a spider mode. That was pretty badass. Spider. Giant mechanical spider. Yeah. Well, who let you in here? Get out. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, yeah, so, you know, then he, he kicks their asses. They they fuck off into space. And exactly what uh, the War Master's first guy says, like, we're stuck. Yeah, the, he gets warned repeatedly, but the, he's like, oh, I want Megas back, so they fall into the portal, and now we're stuck here, which means we're going to be an ongoing threat for the first little while until more villains show up. Mm-hmm. So, so it's Beast Wars. Yeah. It, it really is. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, they, uh, the, the, dra- the, the <laughs> end, they get the drive through. <laughs> it's, uh, it's like, oh, yeah. It, <laughs> And it's weird because it's McDonald's twenty years before McDonald's. Yeah, like legit McDonald's, with the upside down I arch. Like the, I feel like that's that, that will be the universal McDonald's parody. <laughs> yep, <laughs> McDonald's. But uh, yeah, oh. that's the first episode. I I, I remember watching. And, like I love it. It's still funny. <laughs> you're gonna love. You're gonna love that promo. It's super funny. Oh yeah, I remember. <laughs> I will watch it after. We're gonna watch that after. Yeah. So. Okay. Uh, Hard cut to episode twelve, and at first I was like, "Why did Gar pick episode 12? Because I didn't, I don't know the, the episodes by number. And then I saw the castle, and I was like, "Oh, I know why he picked this one." <laughs> if you so, thought this show was a parody of Transformers and Super Robot shows in general, this is where it becomes immensely clear. Why don't you take this one, Gar? So, alrighty, so. The show came out in 2004. Keep in mind, 2004. Literally 20, 20 years, ago. years ago. 20 years ago. But you know what was turning 20 when it came out? Oh. Transformers. Mm-hmm. This is before the live action movies, before the zeitgeist that Transformers was a big hit again. This wow. was when we still had the Japanese shows coming over and being dubbed over by, Has- by Hasbro's team. So like Gary Chalk, David Kay, and whatnot. This is the first time where Peter Cullen and Frank Welker are together doing, like, a Transformers parody. <laughs> it, it, was, it was great watching it, Gar, because, like, like I said, I knew what it was. And then the moment he started talking, he's just like, Peter Cullen. Like, yeah, just, we, we, pick, we, we picked up their voices immediately. No, like, it, it, it was so sweet. And, and if so, you were... You were to fucking tell me that Peter Cullen was g- gonna voice a like a fucking knockoff of Mossinger, I would not believe you. It was so, so, so funny because yeah. the second he walked onto the screen, I was like, "Is that fucking Mossinger?" <laughs> That's before he spoke. <laughs> Look, funny, funny thing, his name is Zanzor, yeah, which is a parody of Mossinger's original dub name, Transor. Transor. Yeah, yep. now now we're cooking. Yep. This. And so, the, so, 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 so there are layers here of references and jokes. Yeah. And the one voiced by Megatron was named Gaivan, <laughs> which is ra- which is Raiden. Yeah, and, and it's great, great too King because Raiden. like it'd be like obviously like the idea of Frank Welker being in a cartoon. It's like that's like saying water's wet. <laughs> but like, but like yeah. the fact is he's doing the Megatron voice. Oh yeah, full yeah. Do no, they, this. they're absolutely doing the Optimus and Megatron yeah. voices. It's clear as day. They actually put a pretty cool filter on uh, Peter Cullen's voice too. Yeah. He, yeah, like Peter Cullen can sound intimidating when he wants to, but this guy, legit. 
Oh yeah. Did you know that Peter Cullen was one of the original uh, voices cho- uh, chosen for Toonami? Really? Cool. cool. Yeah, and they wanted him to do the Octopus Prime voice, and he was like, no one's going to get it. <laughs> I do. We get it. The state. Come on, we get it. Peter Cullen also so- voiced the Predator in Predator and fucking King Kong in Kong 76. <laughs> My favorite voice of his will still be Eeyore. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Or as, or as every Optimus Prime voice actor has described it, depressed Optimus Prime. <laughs> depressed Optimus. So, like the whole, the whole thing of this episode is there's this empire of robots. We, we the, the episode opens on a glorious view of the castle atop the principal area of the Halcyon worlds, and we have our our current emperor, who's clearly a parody of Alpha Trion. Yep. <laughs> Declaring that they have to find a new emperor. Why? Because he's retiring. I don't know. I, 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 I wasn't paying the most attention. I was too busy being blown away by the Claire Transformers parodies. Oh my goodness gracious! <laughs> but they, 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 they have a celebrated fire in their like office, like the flame of Azeroth, and I'm just like, oh, don't make me think about Warcraft. <laughs> So they're holding this tournament of champions to to declare who's the new the next emperor of the Halcyon worlds, and then Megas XLR on her clumsy half-minded attempt to find a monster truck rally drops out of a teleport and destroys the fucking flame. <laughs> and that because like the whole this isn't right, Carmen. Whoever can bring him, all right. Whoever can bring him back becomes the champion. It, 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 it's straight up Farquad. Like yeah. <laughs> new plan. <laughs> But, like, I love, Some of you may die. I, I love that if you're paying attention, though, it's like, oh, okay, th- this is also, like, we, we're going to talk more about this, like, how, like, yeah, you can do anything you want to robots, but it does mention at the very beginning that, oh, this is, like, a brutal empire that yeah. like, takes over like planets. Robot we are the last, yeah. uh, we are the best of the, uh, we are the surviving best of the best. Yeah. My, like, it, I love you can tell which one's background character and which one's supposed to be a main character. Ones that are better animated. As you do. Ones are references, the others are just blocks that are Yeah, just like, like robots. Yeah. Yeah. There are a lot of references. They're all like, just general not... Cybertronians. Which one was uh, the one that Frank Welker voiced? What was he like referenced? I, uh, I, I tried to look it up. To, uh, he is Great King Raiden. Okay. What's that from? I think that's uh, the show. Just, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah Raiden. <laughs> Different super robot show. Gotcha, gotcha. We're gonna say like no. Another two. Uh, I was just gonna say like th- this episode really show what like my favorite aspect of Coop is where a lot of the shit he does is just purely on accident. He just like yeah. oh, doesn't yeah. mean to do it. Like like he because... knocks into like the their, their sacred fire and it like goes out and they're like oh my god our, our sacred fire that's been not never ending undying for thousands of years like uh, uh, how do I'm you sorry. do it. I'm sorry, Raiden the Brave is his name. Okay. And, and then, then yeah, you're like, right. Like, like, the fucking ending, like, god damn. Well, because <laughs> the episode itself... It like, looks like Fice. <laughs> the episode itself is pretty basic. It's like, okay, Megas is now wanted by this planet, and the rest are wanted by this uh, planet of giant robots, so they're chasing him across the galaxy. We get some pretty it fun fights. Like Unicron, yeah. by the way. <laughs> I'm sure that's intentional. Yeah. Yeah, uh, it looked like and then, his, his plant mode. <laughs> but like you know, Frank Welker and uh, Peter Cullen bots they come after him. And, like <laughs> they try to they try to get him solo, but then all the others are also because it, it's an open it's an open bounty. Yeah, basically. they start fighting yeah. each other to claim it, and they go into this nebula where it becomes a fucking slasher movie for a minute. Megas just becomes a fucking deadly assassin. <laughs> yeah, like we literally like. Like, there's literally a point where he, like, grabs a robot's head and twist it. We see it. Just twist Snap it a off. robot's fucking neck! I was half expecting the last robot to just shout out, Where are you? <laughs> also, uh, Z- Zanzor's mace weapon. That's also another Transformers reference. Oh, yeah, I like that. That's yeah. cool. <laughs> they were fun oh, robots. The, the, yeah, and then there was the sacred sword, the metal maiden. <laughs> <laughs> just, let's fly in there. Uh... Uh, they won't be able to read our signal. Works in every other movie. Well, let's hope they don't have cable out here. <laughs> but of course, they all fly in anyway. What 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 uh, what gave me pause? So they start fight. They start looking for Megas in the nebula, and I think it was Guy Van or one of them. Like has the sword, and they're they're slashing at a shadow of a robot in the darkness, thinking, "Oh, it's probably Megas." They see it's one of their fellow 
Halcyon robots, stops for a second, then decides, fuck it, cuts it in half anyway. <laughs> and I'm like, if you were going to kill your own people, why did you stop at all? You know what it was? I think it was more like crime of opportunity. Like, yeah. It's like no one's going to know. Like, I don't think you want... I, I can get away with this. Yeah, it's like, yeah, you know what, you know, make... Because, like, like, we all, like, again, these are not good guys. <laughs> I also love that that whole spiel where Coop like accuses them of all the terrible shit that's happened this episode, and every single one, that. Jamie answers with, "No, you started this." Yeah, like this is your <laughs> fault. <laughs> Fuck it! You got lucky yeah. that these are bad people. <laughs> yeah. So Jamie, Jamie hears about the the metal maiden, and he's just he like, thinks it's a goth thinks, girl band. He thinks it's a goth girl metal rock band, and he's just like, "Yeah." And then he metal then maiden he is a why? Oh man! It's just like it's just a JV. chainsaw yeah. sword, though. I, I was, uh, oh. So what you're saying is this: this teenager sees an alien robot wielding a giant metal chainsaw sword, and he's disappointed. Can't relate. <laughs> no, but what got me this episode, because, like, I have to, again, question fucking Jamie. So they have this, like, I guess they activate this, like, teleporter that just, like, teleports them randomly. And yeah, the, so, like, the warp drive or whatever. Up until this point, they've never, yeah, they've never used it. So Jamie, being Jamie, thinks about him using it where he goes into a bank, like, vault, steals some money, literally steals candy from a baby. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and I'm like, you fucks. And then he, like, <laughs> sneaks into cheerleader locker room. Yeah, yeah steals into a cheerleader room. I'm just like, oh, my God. Remember and what, they're this, like, yeah. This, this is what we sit, were saying earlier about Jamie being problematic. It, it, and, like, it's unfortunately just a product of the time. And it's like, it's like, oh, my God, that really was just <laughs> <laughs> sexual assault. <laughs> 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 Chicks, right? <laughs> <laughs> They're not people. Well, this character's voiced by Steve Bloom, too. So I'm like, Steve he's Bloom. He's doing a great job. He's doing a good job, sure. <laughs> oh, no, also, he's doing I, a great job, but I'm like, come on. And, and to be fair, the show never rewards Jamie. Agreed. To, to be no. fair. Like, it, it's like, no. it, it's always Jamie is, Jamie is the foil. <laughs> yeah. And, like, uh, there was also, like, again, going back to the theme song, I, I realize now there's that part in the theme song where Jamie is has is got, like, uh, a hot alien babe on each side. One's a cat girl, and I was like, oh, man, this, this might have been formative. That's an awakening. <laughs> that, wo that woke a lot of people. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, so then eventually yeah. Megas gets yeah. his hands on uh, me uh, Metal Maiden, <laughs> and, like, fuck, I wasn't expecting, like, Peter Collins' character's death to just be so fucking, like, quick and grim, yeah. but yeah, he just cuts him yep. right in fucking half, and I was like, holy shit! <laughs> we get more, if it's a robot, you can just eviscerate them. Just uh, fucking oh, cut them all. They're, they're robots, they don't have feelings. Yeah, <laughs> even though we've seen them have feelings. Father, fucking... why did you program me to feel pain? <laughs> oh, before that, been... though... Sorry, go ahead. I was just gonna say, uh, you know, Zanzor dies. No Vince Tacoli theme for you, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's weird that, uh, that Frank... I, wait, I guess it's not weird. Frank Welker, again, that, that's the hardest working man. He ends up lasting longer, which yeah. I thought was funny. <laughs> but we're not talking about the funniest thing that happened the whole episode. because I know exactly what it is. Because they finally, <laughs> they fix the trans warp drive or whatever. Yep. Right? He, and Coop's like, okay, we're out of here. He was, no, he presses it, and the warp drive disappears. <laughs> that is hilarious. Because he didn't install it back into the dashboard of the fucking robot. And like... I, like, I love how Kiva puts it. Now it's just going to keep doing that forever. Like, it's, it's going to be endlessly teleporting throughout the universe. And she leans in. We'll never find it. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> I, I, I was expecting them to be, like there to be a cut to like it just like showing up in random places. I just want a fucking montage of oh it traveling the universe. That should have been the end credits. Yeah, like just like f still frames. Of yeah, it. like almost like, like a photo album. Yeah, almost like fucking like in the Simpsons when Mo was like using the fan. Yeah, <laughs> I was thinking that exact same thing. Oh my god, just like with really soft music in the background. Yes, people. Can you put that? Can you put that? We've been Can you put the transport drive in the thumbnail somewhere? <laughs> yeah, that's where it ended up on our fucking thumbnail. <laughs> So, yeah, I love that, like, so Peter Cullen becomes emperor, or whatever like that, and then, yeah, like, when Coop, like, kills a metal maiden, just, they're like, oh, he killed our emperor! And You're then, the like, new emperor! Gets, like, 
So then he gets the fire, like fire or whatever, like that on his on oh. his hands. Why does he and get the fire? Like, oh, agent? oh yeah. Go ahead. Well, no, like the uh, whole thing is. Yeah. Go ahead. Let's sorry, get like, you finish. Like. No, 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 it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, you go into what you're saying. The like again, just the comedy of this show because how he gets the fire hands. He presses a button. What does the button say? <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> minutes until end of episode but what the fuck <laughs> oh my god a literal duet mocking a literal fourth wall breaking button <laughs> so yeah so then like the emperor like goes like oh my god it's like the prophecy and you just see like this like cut to a shot of a robot on the wall with fire hands on the mural <laughs> fire hands yeah and then he just like so like yeah he kills I think he kills Frank Walker or whatever like that and then he's just like oh, he okay be. well I'm like I'm gonna go whatever. now, but I guess I guess I'll just set like your fire back, like light your fire or whatever. Does proceeds to go too much with it, and it just starts engulfing everything. It burns the whole like, planet down. He, he's, yeah, yeah. And then he's like, he, he's like, uh, they're leaving. He's like, oh man, it kind of sucks that like you probably destroyed this entire like race's way of life. And he's like, ah, it was a little fire. It's okay. <laughs> the Hunt to the planet, planet explodes. <laughs> and I'm just like, what is Coop's fucking murder fucking count in this show? Oh, no, he, <laughs> he's, oh, he, this point. he's got genocide <laughs> under his belt. Oh yeah, <laughs> I, I, like, I love. Bef- it, it's just it's just a it's just a joke because like um like they're in uh, Star Wars Rebels there's like a droid named Chopper and like he has the highest like kill count for like Imperials because he's killed like I think like over a hundred thousand of them at once. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool to the thumbnail. <laughs> When, so when, you, when the gear shift is just right. <laughs> just right. <laughs> oh, fuck me. When the robot genocide hits just right. These are mechs so, sing. Oh, yeah, also, Coop, Coop wanted, he, he he was sad he had to miss out on his, like, monster truck rally. That's you were there, see, you like, were there for five the seconds. Carbonator. Carbonator, who was clearly just truck a source. <laughs> I also love the bit where uh, Koopa goes outside Megas, which I also just love shots like that where we just see like the him scale. walking around. Yeah, Whoa. and like Frank and, and Frank Walker bot like says the Emperor is infested with humans. <laughs> I'm like, did they not know? <laughs> oh, they didn't know. No, they thought the Emperor had a squashed face. Yeah, <laughs> Koopa, what are you doing? Yeah, Koopa, what are you doing? I'm gonna take that thing off. You gotta be very gentle with it. Bang, 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 Again, bang, Coop bang, taking bang, a wrench to the plot oh, device. Yeah, and, and that and it worked. Oh yeah, because the whole reason they caught him was because they like they shot him they with this like, it turn with this off weapon, and like Coop's whole take on that was, well, I'll just pry it off with the crowbar, which I love that mentality in this kind of thing. Like sometimes the old tech just you can just like this is why I said this to each year earlier. This is why I'm not afraid of like a Terminator situation, of like a Skynet thing. Because if ever, like, you know, robots, AI, whatever, starts doing shit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my Diet Coke and I'm going to pour it on the console. <laughs> and save the Earth. <laughs> You're not I wrong. Mean, <laughs> like, just, like, full on. Yeah. Just take a so, sledgehammer to everything. It's short stack, Megas. <laughs> Minus. So, yes. Uh, it looks like his art in, like, a gotcha camera. <laughs> The show was very funny. It did really. W- it did well with some viewers, but this show tanked when it came out. I can see that. It's absolutely a cult classic. Like, so much so, uh, so much so. Do you know where Cartoon Network put it when they knew that it wasn't getting renewed for a third season? Mm. Three thirty in the morning. Well, I feel like I have watched an episode of Megas at three in the morning. Which, uh, you know what? I'm glad for that because sometimes you need fun cartoons at three thirty in the morning. Oh, well, and, what? Go ahead, Bear. Oh, just uh, and you know the creators they wanted to do more in like 2012, like when the show, like 2012, 2013, they wanted to do more, but then they learned the hard truth. Megas XLR. Is a tax write off. Oh, as you do. I fucking hate that term. Which means 
they cannot do anything with the show because they could get into legal trouble. Aww. Isn't that always the way? Well, we love it. We're great. Right, the, sh- the, the <laughs> show. We're going to end on a dour note. <laughs> We're having fun. <laughs> but the show does live on as a cult classic. In fact, I was trying to look up like HD transfers for the show. And I found some a group of fans went painstakingly through every episode, frame by frame, 4K, 4K transfer. Damn, Ooh. damn. Let's check those out. 4K upscales? Is it on YouTube yeah, or where like is 4K, it? 4K. Uh, it's like there's a trailer for it on YouTube and it leads to a link. Okay, so just oh search for Mega XLR 4K. Oh, I gotta watch that. Yeah. Neat. Wait, there were there were fucking kids meal Megas XLR toys from Jollibee. All right, <laughs> okay. yeah, that makes sense. Good old so Jollibee. Like, you know, it would have yeah, been so funny if they were McDonald's food. toys, <laughs> right? They have really good chicken though. I love Jollibee. Yeah. Oh, one other Never thing, because like like Ichi was I don't know, maybe you you might have gotten this lane and guard, but like Ichi was at an mm. utter loss. Like during like uh, Jamie's like um. Like one of his like delusions, his, his fantasies. Yeah, like it just becomes an escape from New York reference for no reason, where he's driving the car <laughs> with the with the yeah. chandeliers, and then it just goes to a wall, and we see Coop like rappel down a wall. He's bald. bald. Oh, yeah. You're the you're the Duke A number one, and Ichi had no idea. Yeah. I had no fucking clue what was I happening. Was wondering why that felt so familiar. That was it. it. Holy shit! It's like why is there uh, just a random escape from New York reference? <laughs> I f- Someone asked, was it cancelled? No. They didn't cancel the show, they just didn't renew it. Which is a because it was longer way of saying it's cancelled. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's what we call quiet cancelled. That's why they play that like the dead the dead thirty the the dead three thirty shift. <laughs> the midnight time slot. It's like what they did with uh Nexus. Or me- no, no, no. The thing what happened with Ultraman Nexus is that it was supposed to be an adult theme Ultraman show. It aired alongside like Decker Ranger and all that. Hmm. So the target demographic wasn't even awake to watch the show. <laughs> <laughs> now that's good planning. It's so the opposite effect. So before before we uh, I guess because like great show, wonderful yeah. show. Watch yeah. it. If this is, seems up your jam. You're wa- watch it. It's funny. It's, it's fun. I, despite it's really the cool, despite fun. the living problem that is Jamie. Mostly, the show is great and funny and worth the watch for any fans of Super Robot shows, Tokusatsu shows, just anything involving big robots. There's a MODOK character. Oh, yeah! Voiced by Bruce Campbell. Yeah! (laughs) That dude! No. I I was gonna... It's only 26 episodes. He's like if MODOK and Mojo were the same character. 26 episodes is a good time, though. I think. I I, I, I genuinely... You can bang that out in a weekend? Yeah. Uh, before we end it, though, uh, I want you guys to venture guess, because MEGAS is an, ac- is an acronym, right? Oh, yeah. Well, do you know what it stands for? I'm sure they no. showed it on screen one point, but it's MEGAS forgot. stands for Mechanized Earth Guard Attack System. Mm-hmm. Do you know what the XLR stands for? Extra, that, that, extra, extra large? Oh. Extra large <laughs> robot. <laughs> <laughs> Mechanized crazy. Earth Guard Attack System Extra Large Robot. <laughs> nice. Oh, great. Oh yeah, I guess XLR is the name for specifically Coop's version. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, the robot has forms. And I gotta just say, I, again, I just I love it as a, a robot. I just think it's also a cool design. Yeah, I like the uh, like yeah. the big hands, like the kind of the fins. Yeah, I, it's a I, it looks like some kind of Pontiac. So like, yeah. it's a fun car. I lo- yeah, I love I love he like even though the the head is a car, he also made the robot look like a car. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, <clears throat> But yeah, if uh, you know, if you ever want to make me a giant functional robot, make it look like Mega Sexo. <laughs> you, know, you know what? Maybe maybe if there's nothing to talk about, we'll just throw on a random episode of Megas. Yeah, I'm down. Okay, just hear me out. Soul of Chugachogakin, Mega Sexo. <laughs> oh my god! I mean, that'd be awesome. Maybe spoilers <laughs> for the show, but we could always do the episode where we meet Evil Coop. Oh yeah! Mm-hmm. Oh, evil Coop. Yeah. Pook. Okay. <laughs> Pook. Anyways. All right. Well, that'll be it for Cast Ranger for this week. Thank you all, everyone, for 
listening, watching, liking, favoriting, sharing, subscribing, hitting the bell, and being awesome. As always, the primary source of our Cast Ranger hijinks is castranger.podbean.com. Oh, of course, Jikai <gasps> Radio Sentai Cast Ranger. Our feature topic for the next week of Metal April 6 will be Mechanical Violator Hakider. Ooh, finally watching Hakider? Hell yeah. <laughs> Yeah, because so we've been needing to talk about this, and it kept it always kept getting skipped for Halloween. So when I was playing out Metal April Six, I was like, I it's gotta be in there as the tribute for how we started Metal April with being a Kikider tribute. Mm-hmm. You know what episodes? Oh, it's a movie. Oh, oh yeah, it's the it's a nineties movie, I think. Okay, cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Imagine Kalar, Zeto, and Jay, but with Hakider. All right. Fuck yeah. And of course, shout out to our currently active patrons, which include Blaze, Armorhide, Zentai VT, Midas, Vegas, Jackaplier, and Jack Seguire. Can I say one more thing? Sorry. Because uh-huh. I just found this out. So, uh, Megas XLR, it aired 2004. Guess what fucking day? Hmm? May 1st, my birthday. Nice! <laughs> oh, that, that's divine intervention if I've ever seen it. As the theme song for you. As the theme song says, nice. <laughs> wow. happy, happy, happy birthday, Sal. I bought you the $2,000 toy. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. No, 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 no. Go to Sal's place. Happy birthday, Sal. Guard to car. Wait for it. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's why you have barely- some- that's There's why you have such a kinship with, with Megas XLR, the same way I have a kinship with the thing that came out on my exact day of birth, who framed Roger Rabbit. There we are. <laughs> yeah, so there's there's one the there's one of the figures for going on eBay for thirty one hundred dollars, but it's signed Ow! by the creators. Oh, that's why. Okay. Yeah. Give me that one. Yeah. <laughs> right. Anyways. Now we'll buy the cheaper one and forge the signature. <laughs> Put it in a safe. <laughs> All right. Uh, I think that's about it. Let us know what you thought. Um, oh, <laughs> I wanted to say this earlier, but like, if the toilet monster splashed you with its water of truth, what would you confess? Post in the comments. <laughs> Let us know. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I made that joke while we were watching the episode earlier. <laughs> what are your true feelings? All right. Thank you all once again, and we'll see you next week. Stay show. Stay Sentai, everyone.